Run. Welcome back. We travel the through the incalculable dimension of human weakness. Uh, Nico, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Nico. Indistinct and ill minded. No comfort awaits you here. They removed more fun things. Well, fun is subjective. So the fun things that they removed for you that you thought were fun might literally be what other people hate and don't like. It doesn't mean one is better than the other. It might mean one is better for you than the other. But if you want just Darkest Dungeon again, you could just play Darkest Dungeon. Or you could do one of the overhaul mods for Darkest Dungeon. But is this for real yet? Their opinions are wrong. <laughs> You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. Here we go. Another one. This is the real game. Yep. Here we go again. The crossroads. Wait for the lantern's light and welcome what help may come. All right, so we did not unlock new characters. We did unlock one new skill for the grave robber that we could try out this time. Pride, more devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. All right, uh, let's grab names from the queue and uh, I will try not to get you killed this time. All right, who do we got? We got Chub Nuts. Oh, I can't wait to gripe at Chub Nuts. We got Sandy. We got Inspector. Inspector Dismas. And we got Stria. All have paid channel points to die in this new road. I mean, live on for our first victory, of course. Of course. All right. Uh, looks like Hellion will be the next unlock, which is awesome. Let's go. Uh, let's check out the new, yeah new traits as well. So we got Sanguine. A bright future can yet still be seen. Uh, so you get minus one stress on round start. And at first when I saw minus one and plus one stress things, I was like, minus one stress. But now stress has been uh, changed. So it's maximum 10. So they they have a basically a stroke or something at 10 stress. Um, Cass, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, Cass. So that's pretty good, actually. So that's like removing 10% of their stress at the beginning of every round start. It's pretty good. Thin blooded, minus 10% blight resistance. Sprawl Explorer, master the sprawl's advantages. So explore. Uh, hemophobia. If bleeding, or well, if they're bleeding, they get stress, a chance of stress at uh, start a turn if they're bleeding. Interesting. Sanguine is huge. Yeah, Sanguine looks good. Uh, Thana to Mania. So that was kind of, that was in Dark Stage 1. Obsessed with death and what lies beyond the mortal coil. We'll see how that works in this game. It is a rare quirk. Tipler. Can't get enough of the hard stuff. Breacher. Combat start. Pull 3. This is also rare. Uh, yeah, the, this icon means it's a rare trait, yeah. Thank you, Rick. I'm glad you're enjoying. Round start, 15% chance at uh, weakness. Combat start, days. Oh, no. Off guard, way worse than this one. They're still not working? Uh, thank you, L. I have a note. I checked them. I thought it was Steam Key related, but maybe not. Thank you for letting me know. Assess the death and heavy drinkers. Red Hook's got a camera in your house. <laughs> Yeah, off guard does not sound good. The valley. The leaves fall. Never to grow again. Oh no, breach raids. They followed me from Rimworld. Let's temper this world's cruelty. Just a little. All right, so we got Laudum, uh, Lie, Willy Tools. We actually got the 10% Resist Charm again. Okay. So, 10% uh, to move Resist. Um, 
Well, let's put that on Sandy, so hopefully she doesn't get pulled in front of Inspector. And then we also have combat items, so let's go into that. We got Lie, clear all corpses. That is very valuable against those corpse eater types. Laudanum. Yeah, we'll throw that on someone as well. And then uh, yeah. corpse powder. Let's go. Is this just released? It releases tomorrow for early access. There's no Vestal, no Vestal, no. No Vestal, no Crusader. During my lectures gave me no and I Bounty Hunter. You there's, a, there's a lot missing it. Of a kindred How do you heal? You heal at the, there's some healing moves and then you also can heal at the inn. Uh, fifth lobby, think of the resub. A full year. You must be strong Thank enough you, to shoulder more than your share of the burden. All right, let's see what the choices are. Yeah, two choices. It's on us to carry the torch. It's a long road. Plus 50 torch and extra food, no matter who we go with. These two don't have an opinion, so. In crisis, no gain. No, they, they're literally not in the game at all. Not just that I haven't locked them, they're not in the game. We've seen the Antiquarian. She's a traitor. Yeah, we fought her. Jerk Antiquarian. You can feel it. A change in the air. Feel it. To attempt and fail is no shameful thing. There we go. You see, even your we don't know if they're coming at all. We don't know. A lot of people think that Reynold was the canonical sacrifice in Darkest Dungeon 1, which is... Oh, right. I forgot they have that. They get to... They move forward three. Wow. Anyway, um, there was a preview art thing, like a... a I don't know what you want to call it. I was going to say poster, but a preview art that... Red Hook posted on Twitter that showed a bunch of skulls and then it showed a skull inside of a Crusader helmet inside of Reynolds helmet laying on the ground. And someone was like, is that Reynolds head? And Barasa was like. Maybe <laughs> like could be with yet. No. There's a skull inside of your head. Wow, that breacher thing is crazy. I need to get in front of them. You like the same gig as Darius as you wouldn't? The two bone boys, yeah. Nice crit. I get maybe to the first in to get the starting bonus? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. We'll find out soon. Are you technically inside the skull? Nice. Can I adjust your member skills? Compensate? Yeah. yeah. I'm curious to see what they all are. Got some relics and another storage trunk. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. All right, the end. You get plus one mastery, so we can upgrade a move. Yeah. Have you missed any amazing things? Oh man, you missed the little baby mini boss. We lost our first run. So at one point, you get to this. Um, does much for the hang on, Wayne. Body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Uh, so at one point, we got to this side road area called. Hey, look at the cat. There's a kitty. Uh, called the Lair, right? And the Lair itself was like a tower. And so once you, like, almost like farmstead-ish, right? You finish a fight and it's like, do you want to fight for some more loot? And I was like, yeah. And then it happened again and it was offering me two good trinkets, including a rare trinket. And I was like, yeah, absolutely, we'll go down. And it was this baby boss. There was like some kind of deformed Resident Evil baby crawling out of a cornucopia and it killed us. <laughs> so you missed a little bit, yeah. Uh, Inspector Insani and Inspector Nistria both becoming more friendly one on another. One another. 
All right, so can be taught mastery that you may stand just a little taller at the end. <laughs> huh? The upgrade bolster it can actually remove stress. Oh, fifty percent chance to remove stress. Interesting. Friendliest inspector. It was boss baby. Yeah. Hold the line. Upgrading. Stun target when combo is out. Interesting. Forward three. Wow. Yeah, don't beat your meat or the baby will kill you. That's right. That's right, Ludar, yes. Uh, Defender, target times three. All right, that's three uh, tokens or whatever. Yeah, we have one mastery that we can use, yeah. So let's look at the different upgrades. Last time we used it on Rampart, uh, which is pretty decent. It can give you that combo to stun, but... To the face. Fifty percent additional crit when comboed. Targets into a day early. Yep. Thrown dagger. Fifty percent crit when target is comboed. Nice. I see a pattern here. Extra crit and damage there. Fifty percent crit when target is comboed. <laughs> uh, interesting. Wicked slice ignores thirty percent bleed resist. Plus increased damage and crit. Pistol shot. Um. Whoa, you can get repost triggered from pistol shot if they're comboed. Sure your number of quotes from that one fight is troubling. Welcome back. Your steadfast uh, Matt, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Matt. Three months through our first trimester. It's pretty interesting. Oh, that's uh, my bad. That's ignore through uh, deathly resist. I misspoke. Pistol shot, though, it, it can be comboed to get a repost charge. That's pretty, pretty interesting. So, uh, the skull with the like bluish green that is combo. The red one, just plain out skull, that is death low resist. Yeah. Duelist advance. Wow, you can get that to where it gives you all three stacks of duelist adva advance on one use. Uh, it doesn't so far stuff. It, it definitely feels like a different game. Not in a bad way. It feels like a spinoff, not like a sequel, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Tracking shots. Take aim. All right, let's see here. Stria ignores 30%. Blight resist when comboed. Lots of combo potential. Blinding gas. Whoa. Blinding gas will have a chance to blight? And it will also blind and daze. That's pretty big. Or a 33% 30, chance of combo, rather, not blight. I don't know why I said that. That's kind of crazy. That's really good. The upgrade on that is really good. Love it so far. I can't wait to play it. Satiated North Surface and Bleed Resist when target is comboed. That'll feel medicine. Uh, three uses still. Be careful with that. Feels 25% instead. Prevention. There's a lot of good things to take. I think I'm actually going to start out by taking uh, the three. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the three charge duelist advance. Tracking shot lines up a combo. So it seems like a really good one to take in general for comboing, which we can go kind of two routes. We can either go ahead and get the combo, but there's not a lot to combo with it yet. Or we can get the thing, the upgrade that'll eventually combo with other stuff. It seems like blinding gas is really awesome for, well, it's only 33% chance. Anyway, I'm gonna try dual advance. We'll end up trying all the different upgrades, but I don't know if you could upgrade another uh, ability more than once. Yeah, we didn't make it to another inn with the rest of our combo points, so. I don't know. The I Wayne Wrights. We're gonna leave the name. As vital to uh, let's wait before we equip that. Steel. No one needs anything used on them. In the light. Keep the flame at 40 plus to get an extra mastery point. Maybe we should go the other way. We've never been to the Sprawl. Don't we have someone with Sprawl Explorer? We do. Visit at least three academic studies. Get plus 250 hope. Hope is like the unlock stuff. Um, the mastery point seems like the smart way to go, but we haven't seen the sprawl yet, and I just want to see it. So, 
Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. All right. Common items don't have any more. Uh, we have a trinket. 15% max HP. Listen. Travel log. Oh, okay. Improve. Um, who do I want to put that on? We might move it around, but... Early on, unlocking more things seems like the right thing to do, too. Yeah, I think I'll go that way for both reasons, yeah. You weren't that excited for the game, but now you are. Yeah, I will set up a channel point thing to name the stagecoach, yeah. All right, let's go. Our great cities burn. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. It's fun so far, though. Go to the cove. A new zone. The bad thing about this is we won't know what any of the enemies do. <laughs> Behold, the great. Oh, we got a scout. Of man. Oh, ruined and a flame. Is that because of the sprawling? Holy crap! Hang on. Sprawl explorer just explored like everything. That's actually nuts. So we can go to a hospital or a watchtower. Do we even need the watchtower after all that? Hoarder, resistance encounter. Where's the story stuff? Academic studies, we need to go there for the bonus. So it looks like uh, we should go left. Oh no, there's a hero storyline. Either way, we're going left, sorry. Mavs more like Slave Spire now? Yep. Yeah, yeah. They mentioned that in the uh, PC Gamer article too. The seven looks pretty cool. Alright, scout the rest, the rest of the stuff even though we don't really need more scouted. Made it to an end yet? Uh, this is a new run, so. You can't explore everything? No. You get to choose which way you go. Kind of like this game, uh, Red Hook mentioned they want it to be more like a current traditional uh, roguelike. So it's kind of like Slay the Spire in that regard. You choose which path. Require careful deliberation. No, go left. God, the corpse is hanging. Holy Christ. Things have not been going very well out in the countryside. Apparently it wasn't just the Hamlet. Well, this is new. Yeah, I'm not sure what the difference between the off-road ones are, like the blue ones and the fanatics. Oh, lords. Way to mess it up in the first Dark Dungeon. Quick, tactical retreat. Minus 15 torch and we run away. And, uh, Inspector agrees with that. They don't see us. What are we waiting for? So we can get a combat bonus. Alright, let's fight him. It's... So it sounds like, in the beginning of this, that we screwed up. That we made things worse instead of better. You're up for another total party wipe? Look at these guys. We got Whipper Fanatics. We got a Flayer, a Whipper, a Shaman, and a Sacrificial. Sacrificial makes you think he's going to blow up. Oh no, Adam Kuzlin ruined the world again. Uh, they don't have a lot of Blight Resist, which is nice. Okay, let's get our upgraded Duelist Advance up. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. That work. Uh, Asuru, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you, Asuru. Man, that Breacher thing is so good. So good. 50% chance to dodge. Mm 
I'm just going to do some damage. I mean, that token's going to be there. We need to get rid of it. Maybe we just get rid of it with a weaker hit like this anyway. All right, that works. It's almost like Darkest Dungeon was like containing the darkness to the Hamlet. We have all of our posts up still, so. How much damage does it do? Four to six, four to eight. I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> so I was the one that ended up uh, winning on the dodge roll. So yeah, three health left, two to three. Uh, let's go with a guarantee kill instead. One less obstacle in our path. So far, dodge has just seemed like 50%. Yeah, the token, the only one that we've seen is 50% chance to dodge, yeah. So far. Station to bring the madman back. Armset, that was a major worry for you. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh oh. I think I might have been right about this guy. Okay, so it looks like kind of like how the Aegis was. Uh, Aegis? Aegis, yes. From the first game, damage over time does go through a block. It blocks the actual initial damage, consumes a block, but the damage goes through. Yeah, I don't know. He very well could be. Uh... Try and knock this guy back. Nice crit. Chub nuts. And the blight finished him nice. Demonic Rain all that's your head cannon right now. By confronting the past, we learn to face the future. We got some bobbles, charred books, and a uh, trinket that gives us 25% fire res. It seems like it'll be really good here. Uh, fire res. Um, yeah, we'll just throw that on our grave robber for now. Looks nice, yeah. The animations are really awesome, man. Yeah. Still can't get over. Uh, which way do we want to go? We want to go left. Still can't get over that boss baby we fought. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. So far, for accuracy, it doesn't feel like we. Could, well, it's it's going to be hard to know with how combat is balanced till we get further into it in multiple runs. Um, but yeah, I mean, the combat seems fine so far from what we've seen, yeah. Did all streamers get early access? I don't, I don't know which streamers did and didn't. I know some did, yeah. Doesn't look like a dungeon, more like a town. Well, we're headed somewhere. The unknown. Imagine this power in battle. Minus 10 uh, lights, but we get some mystery things and a trinket. Minus 10, we get some scouting and some mystery stuff. All right, I got to go with it. Touch it. Surely it's not like Shambler or anything, right? Touchy, touchy. Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. Ooh, that's our rarest trinket we've gotten so far. Uh, 
So at the start of your turn, you get a random token. That's, that can be massively strong. Hey, it paid off. Gambling always pays off. Remember the boss, baby? Uh, I'm gonna throw that on our high woman. Man, I'm really on the fence. So we could go for the story shrine and unlock a new skill on someone, or we could do the bonus for this level and go to the academy. I feel like since we got all of this uh, scouting, we should go with the academy route. All right, let's go. Sounds like a huge double-edged sword. Yeah, it could be too, yeah. Hero story. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you I'm glad you think that way. Oh, I didn't check that. Yeah, thank you. Uh the man at arms got devout. Committed to a power beyond themselves. So it doesn't really tell us what it does. Maybe it'll remove some stress or something. If you hope to heal, you have chosen wisely. It's a good trait, apparently. <laughs> the unknown. It looks like a hatch. As I always say, anything locked has something I want. <laughs> uh, who will crash this gate with me? Nothing like tumbling a lock to soothe the soul. They all want to see it. All right, we'll see it. Can't watch for too long. In this world, Lost in space. Wealth is worthless without purpose. An unforgettable trinket. If dark impulse is equipped, get 50% additional movement resist. So a... Uh, a set trinket. Interesting. And then the... She got something. Wow. When you take stress damage, you have a 30% chance to shuffle yourself. You have a 30% chance to destroy a positive token and a 15% chance... Or 50% chance to go stealth. A token is the icons below your character. Like the dodge token. Uh, that's, uh, might not be too good. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that's a bad one. Bullet unforgettable, yeah. yeah. percent stealth though, could be a lifesaver. Oh, I couldn't hit that. Might destroy negative tokens. Yeah, we'll have to see. All right, combat's coming. Pillaging brigands. Enriching themselves as the world collapses. Mm. The cannon again. So we've ran into the cannon. It can actually self-load. And it does big damage just like the cannon in Dark Dungeon 1. So we are going to work on just uh, killing anything we can as fast as we can. Leave the cannon up for the end. Welcome back. Your steadfast Got a repost going. He does have Vulnerable, which we could remove with Bolster. Uh, Spaz, thank you for the 18 month Happy Subversary. Thank you, Spaz. It's a long time, man. Hmm. Actually, I don't think I'm going to bolster that off. I think I'm gonna daze that guy. Oh, he resisted, of course. Man, Breach is so good. Oh, the enemies have combos as well. Ooh. Uh, this is dodge, yep, and this is repost. Going Ashen Wilkman. Uh, let's see. He is at effectively eight health. So we roll top in, we can kill here. Roll top in. Nice. 
Got her post up. That's going to hurt. Welcome back. Your step the smallest variable can make all the difference. A skincare routine video lobby? <laughs> uh, uh, no plans for that. Uh, weight loss. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, weight loss. We are learning together, yeah. Ooh. Dodge token. That trinket is really nice. We gotta jump in front here. Crap. Stria went next. That's not good at all. I'm actually gonna move back. We did get stealth triggered, which is kind of nice. Let's see if you can defend against AoE in this. Is that where the vulnerable came from, I wonder? The random token? I need to get her up where she can use pick to the face. Welcome back. Your breakthrough loyalty is greatly appreciated. Turtles and chill. Think of the 19 months. Turtles and chill. Steady yourself. Oh, very much appreciated. Thank you, Davy. She got stealth again. Man, I really need to get that pick to the face. I think we should move up with her. bad. We need to bypass some of that damage reduction. And daze the cannon. Cap, they were the two months thinking Cap. Very much thing. Man, that's actually nuts. Next skill has 100% crit and ignores 20% resistance. Thanks, Chandler. <laughs> That's a pretty awesome token, yeah. Let's go on drill, welcome in. Good dodge, thank goodness. Maybe we should heal before we kill it. It's only got three health left. Uh, can we see the map in here? You know, dancing dungeon. It's gonna reload this round, right? But this is gonna put up the two blocks. Heal stolen already, let's try it. There is comfort in company. Friendship gains. All right, it's battle limited. Crap. I gotta remember that. The heal on the Plague Doctor can only be used three times. Right. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. Yeah, I wonder if that's how that would work too. Like if you, tr if you kill it with whoever set it to low health, maybe they 
You won't get the like infighting or whatever. Reason to spin on him every time we can, since we still have limited inventory. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to see if that last run that we did, if it's if that's common. If it's pretty common for you to get like lots of the items where you're throwing them down. If so, then yeah, use them. Discord, because you had to fix yours, didn't realize it messed up. This is a data breach. She weep uh, I'll check. The Thank fallen, you. And knows she will join them soon enough. Huh. Nice. So we can triage, wellness, pharmacy. All right. So wellness, we can actually. Well, well, well let's take a look. Um, takes 16 relics to get rid of one. 32 to lock in. Interesting. Uh, healing. It's percent based. This is pretty cool. Pharmacy, you can buy stuff. Obviously, I suppose. Uh, Sanguin seems really strong, but we can only lock in one thing right now. We're also low on health. Sprawl Explorer also was really nice. Lost in space really sucks. Uh, can we check how far we are from a... Like, can I re-access this? I think we're kind of a ways from an end, though, right? I didn't check when I came in. It's too bad it doesn't show the end thing down here when you're in these screens also. Maybe that could be a nice change. I think I'm just going to heal. I should have probably just went max, but oh well. We'll save the rest. Yeah, I tried pressing in, man. 49 leagues, okay. So we got combat and then another hospital and then another hospital. Oh no, another layer. <laughs> That's where the boss baby was. Um, so we're gonna go left and then right. Okay. I think, we'll see. Off guard also really bad, yeah. Oh God, the layer with the boss baby again. <laughs> Turn. <laughs> Oh, relationship is tested. Finally, As we have friends. Unites the hopeful. <laughs> Inspector and Sani, BFF. Um, I'm not sure yet. What's the difference from off-road and street things and how they play in? Avenge the last run that died to boss baby. I like how we've named it Boss Baby. Fight, fight, fight. Run away. We're fine. Uh, running over those has a chance to give loot. So far, it looks like it mainly gives food when you run over them. Yeah, that's another thing too, like sometimes you want to go where the heroes want to go or else they'll get stressed. Okay, so what do we got this time? We don't have the Explodey guy. Immolatus, the Flayer, the Whipper, the Lost Soul. Let's get a repose up. Nice crit. Don't get rid of that perhaps. dodge token. Man, Breach is so good. I mean, they're dazed as well, which is not great, but... Resign the battle screen. He resisted. There's a stress plus after this plane. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about if you don't go the way they want to go, yeah, they'll get stressed from it, yeah. It's going Wills, welcome in.
Oh, nice. Hopeful gives a heal. All right. Nice. A brilliant conclusion. Oh, for the offer. Thank you. It's good to be friends. You're not going to panic yet, but you're, you haven't seen a vomit pig. The slow suffering begins. She's burning. Uh, he's dead. I kind of want to jump in front. It's 3x per battle. Yeah. They argue more with more stress. Yeah. yeah we actually should probably start using the Laudanum on them. A little ways from the uh, from the end still. Oh, they can heal them. Huh. Good miss there. Yeah, so far all accuracy um, things seem to be fifty percent. Another corpse interaction. Oh, no. Remember when I was like, this guy's dead from the blight. Now we know. Access after some time, or do you permanently have it? Uh, I permanently have it, yep. Yeah, this is what I'll be playing all week. Good crit. Love the co-op or cooperation mechanic. It was good reason to have specific individuals together or don't based on it. The slow suffering begins. That's not good. Oh, that pull forward is so bad. So now we can't uh, battlefield medicine that off. We don't know the next turn order. We may should just kill this while we can. But, well, there's no corp for her to Im corpse for her to immolate. So, you anyway, enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, I'm having fun so far. Yeah. Okay, he's going next. That means they should bleed out. They have no death blow resist. Uh, this one's also going to blight out, so we should start attacking here. We might want to guard. She's actually going to go... Yeah, let's guard. Man, everyone's getting friendly this run. Okay, we need to jump in front so they can heal themselves. The smallest variable can make all the difference. She went between the corp uh, when it became a corpse and the next one, so she she actually ended up being able to use it to heal. Yeah, I need to use the laudanum suit too. Yeah. For you to tin stress. The slow suffering begins. It hits meltdown. Everyone starts hating them. That might absolutely happen. All right, throw the laudanum. There is comfort in company. So they're at four. Okay. They did. Is this early access? This is early, early access, yep. Early access begins tomorrow. She's not low enough to heal off that yet. 
Friendship is magic. It's coming to Steam in a year. It's earlier access. It'll be on Steam in a year. Another hopeful. Is that a heal every time? No, she gave him the Garen or 50% uh, additional damage. Nice. Earliest dungeon too. The slow suffering begins. It's pretty rough. She actually has death blow resist. How much does it start with? 25. 25. It's alright, we got this. Win together, lose together. Continues. Slay together. Feel strong. Oh no! Experience. However, streamer privilege access. The yep. greatest teacher of all. Uh so yeah, 10% max HP trinket. Another laudanum. The loathing abates. 43 leagues to the end. Some max HP. I mean, it gives Chub Nuts more raw HP just because of how his max is. So maybe we'll throw it on him, and we'll uh, be more apt to guard. How many items? Um, we could spread the laudanum around also. Work for years, entertain, and have hundreds of thousands of people show up. Just interact with you. You too can have streamer privilege. Uh, so we can heal or go to the layer. So we're pretty weak right now to hit up the layer. We could probably do the first layer of it though. Uh, going to the hospital twice in a row makes no sense. So I think I'm gonna go to the layer, but I'm not going down to boss baby. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, we can go, wait, wait, we can go to a hero story. I didn't even realize that was connected. We can go to hero shrine uh, for an unlock and then go to the hospital. Let's do that. Unlocks. Unlocks, please. First layer of the layer. Uh-oh. Maybe it's not a baby this time. <laughs> uh, well, he's new. The Woodsman, a gaunt. He looks fine. Size two enemy. It's the worst thing can happen, right? Animated movie about the Woodsman being Santa. Ooh, first stress over time. Uh-oh. Horror effects. A promising How do you learn to level up new skills? So... You get mastery points that you spend at the inn. Mastery points to be spent at the inn. Actually removes horror as well still. Give him the drugs. Huh. I'm really worried about our man at arms. Can't heal him this round. We need a good hopeful proc. Extra damage. We gotta jump in front so they can heal this round. There is comfort in company. Looks like Chub Nuts might not make it. Lethality crit. Writ large. Oh god! <laughs> so much for a dodge token working. 50%.
got the combo up, so we could probably stun this next round. Protect the nuts. No dodge cheese. Yes. Stacking a stat that the game gives you and gives you trinkets for is cheesing, yeah. A little help impeccably timed. Oh, I know. Resist it again. He's going next. We gotta try to get this off on him. Resisted. I don't know if he can use all of his moves in the back or whatever. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. So, she's dead. We have to hit a 12. Great animations, yeah. yeah. The blight is good. Oh, he didn't die. Well, he's at death's door. Oh, it's the new tree branch smackdown. <laughs> she doesn't have any death blow resist, so she's actually dead. Okay. The new tree branch smackdown. Scavenge what you can. Ooh, holy water. More. Negate a token, or if comboed, removes all negative tokens. Speed bag, chance to spawn dodge token each turn until next in. Until next in, that's pretty huge. Not just like rest combat. Uh, so some battles have the maximum of five rounds, some don't. The ones that do, the enemies run away at the fifth round and you don't get the reward. I'll still throw that on someone. Yep, yeah, no problem. Inns are kind of like camps on steroids. It's kind of like Hamlet mixed with camp a little bit. Our flame is getting pretty low, which explains why those mobs are beating the crap out of us. We've got a ways to go too. Let's try to get to the point where we unlock uh, point blank shot. That'd feel really nice. Do they still have resolve levels? Uh, no, not really. And you don't upgrade gear and stuff in that sort of way, no. All right, Inspector. Let's see your story. Let's hit. First hitting the rubble, you can get items from it. Uh, we've mainly seen, it depends on the zone it seems, but um, the main thing we've gotten is food from it. W to advance cheese. So. Highway man. Highway one. man. Freedom. It's pretty cool. A prison riot. A fleeting chance to escape incarceration. Uh, highway man. It's a chance to dodge. Uh, lunging cuff or stone missile. Punched. It's buff Dismas. Knee strike. Oh! <laughs> Have you ever just hit someone with your knee so hard that they disintegrated? They just exploded. Whoa. 
think it's a good choice that they made a rogue light instead. Not recently. <laughs> oh, I should have need him. What? Yeah, there's a cooldown for it. Yeah. Game looked amazing seeing it, knowing that they had to work with previously, and the growth is cool. Oh. What is this battle? This is a lore battle. It's a uh, kind of. It's kind of like the Shieldbreaker Nightmare in a way. I can't use this from front position. I gotta, I gotta start thinking about that. Let's go on Tree Bones. We're on our second run. The first one we lost to a mini boss baby. He's, he cut off his sleeves to use them as a scarf. <laughs> Wearing that mask. A brilliant conclusion. A mini boss, baby. Oh, he's about to get kneed into oblivion. Pretty cool. He would be a fugitive, a hunted man, but a free one nonetheless. Ah, there we go. We unlock point blank shot. Uh, it knocks back and it combos. Point blank shot combos. Wow. Nice. It's a cool little encounter. Yeah. All right. Better looking better and better. Let's go on, Silver Tiger. Welcome in. Never in question. Only the root okay, so we need to end up um, at the academic study. We can go either one of these to heal. And a resistance encounter, hoarder, guardian. Um. Yeah, let's go left. Take the middle and skip the heal. It looks like the blue dotted ones are like off road, which might have their own dangers aside from just stress. We gotta start using Laudanum on Stria on this next thing. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I need to reposition him too. I meant to do that while we're in here. There we go. Now that we have point blank. Games. They were the six months. Glad to be back in Earth's dungeon. Just like he did not want to go to that. Thank you, Games. All right, the hospital. Let us temper this world's cruelty just a little. I'm going to heal her for sure. And then, uh, how much is like London? London's only three. We have a few left already. Our runs of Dark Zone 2 are going to be shorter than Dark Zone by a lot. Yeah, Dark Zone 1, uh, full run could be like 60 to 80 hours sometimes, depending on 
what you were doing, and this, these are going to be more like four to eight. Like four to eight hours. Um, we could get rid of off guard. It is pretty dangerous. They start dazed every time. And then in addition to that, 15% of the time they actually take 50% uh, additional damage. Man, that one's also pretty brutal, but that could really screw us out of, uh, like if she shuffles, um, it's maybe not that big of a deal because we have our hyman who can jump forward. I think I'm going to get rid of off guard. Let's go on Matt. Welcome in. We need not be defined by Oops. our shortcomings. All right, we did get uh, some more lie. Does anyone not have a combat item? Yeah, let's throw that on there until we get something else. All right, on we go. So many bubbles. Yeah, way more than the last run. Of course, this is about where we were dying to boss baby last run, so. Yeah, see, like, we got an item from that one. So far, it seems like mainly food. Oh, I couldn't turn fast enough, apparently. Next, we are going to a store. Only 24 leagues to the second inn. Nice. Might actually make it. No, turn right. Yeah, I, I, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if we heal because of that thing we just passed or if it just heals over time on the road. Yeah. They know what rockets are. What timeline is this? All right, what, what options do we have? We can prove to them that they can survive. We lose 15 light, which are already at 17. Or we gain 15. They have struck a chord in my cold black heart. All right, yeah, we're gaining some light. Fight them. <laughs> Sometimes that's an option. World, well, I don't know about fight, but wealth is worth attacking them is sometimes purpose. an option. There are battles between the points to make it more scary? There are, occasionally. Uh, so in these paths, and maybe that's more likely on the on the blue road, but we have ran into where enemies will literally block the road and you have to fight them. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. If it's just a heal over time, does it consume food as you go that you would otherwise have to use at the inn? Is it because of a specific thing we passed? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh well, too late. So next, welcome in. We're down to 24 light already. All right, the hoarder. <laughs> they have opinions on the driving, yeah. All right. Uh, we can't really afford any of that, but we have so many baubles this time that we can buy trinkets. Last time we couldn't do that. Baubles, let's see what we got here. Combat start 75% chance of reduced damage. 20% max HP. Sneakers standard. Hags horde. 25% chance to stealth yourself at the start of each turn. Uh, sacred scribblings. 25% fire resist. 20% bleed resist. Fire resist. I'm gonna buy one of these. Everything about it. it makes you hate him. Hey, look, he's got a portrait of Wayne back there. And some crests. Combat start, 75% chance. Turn start. I think I'm going to take this one. I like not bothering with portraits and crests, etc. Portrait of Wayne. Not the ancestor of Wayne. Yeah, he's got busts, yeah. What kind of stuff in the first game? Right, I'm going to buy this. Whoops. There's also no selling in this game at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
same trader? It looks like him, yeah. Rocket, early 17th century from Italian. With reference to its cylindrical shape. Why do some quirks have that icon after them? That means they are rare. Uh, all right, so we're going left. The ones with the icon mean they are rare quirks. All right. Stria, we gotta get you some laudum. Oh, it's just three bone boys. Company. They're both actually pretty, uh, pretty stressed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, like bottle rockets and things. So Breach is a really good one, but it feels like it would be better on a different character. <laughs> like if we had Breach on our uh, Man at Arms, I feel a little bit better about it. Yeah, one of my favorite parts for anyone that hasn't seen it, that's just coming in, is as you go through the moves, they ready their animation based on the type of move. So it, as you see, we get our dagger ready, we take out our gun, get ready to lunge. Like it's all pretty cool, yeah. in my glory. Oh, come on. You guys were about to be friends. Yeah, character mods will definitely be harder to do. The healer. The obvious choice for the breaching vanguard. That's right. Circurio interaction? Not really. Not in the same way the first game was. Ow. I just want to get back in front of it. Lethality writ large. It just says whatever. <laughs> Might as well heal for the next fight, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure I'm using our items too. The relationship bark, especially this kill steal jealousy. Yeah. We gotta hurry up and kill this. I mean, there we go, but. Kill steal jealousy's a little find. a little annoying. Chris, she used to be one of your most prolific characters. Yeah, she's not in the game at all. Currently. Seems like healing in general might be turned down quite a bit. So if they add the Vestal, I would imagine they add her more as a battle Vestal. We'll have to see. See if we can get him going sooner. I might actually put Inspector here so that they can jump in front of Stria. No more heal stalls? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Spectre's gonna have a stroke here soon. We're so close to the end though. A 
place of research and inquiry. A monument to a once prestigious career. Hey, look, it's the siren. You jealous or whatever from the kill, or does it just rain? Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. Yeah. We were talking about that earlier that maybe, like, the person that does the most damage should also kill it. I don't know. What? You all want to leave? I don't want to leave. I want to know what it does. <laughs> Maybe I just don't like music or the prison gallows bell. It's unfortunate. Cowards. Look at her. Yeah, who knows what characters are going to add through early access and then eventually in like DLC and stuff. comes asunder before our eyes. An ambush. These are the characters you start with. The others are unlocks through playing the game. Ugh. There's an explodey one back there. Crit. Forgot to avoid nighttime ambush. <laughs> Why are you running over the blockages? It gives you food. Science the exploit exploded boy and let him go boom. I think we are, we've done a bit of sciencing already, like when we were fighting the baby and we beat the meat. So I, I don't know. Well, I'd be done with that for now. That one's going next, huh? I think there's a lot of quotes about the baby and meat during the during the fight. Um, should we see our first point blank shot? I should kill that guy. A promising development. Oh, get over it. Should have been mine. That one was mine. Yeah, I get this uh, exploding guy out of here. Let's go on Xanwa, Quinn. Dark Dungeon 2 hype. Yeah. Steady Oof. yourself. No, you just stay back, all right? You stay back. Uh-oh. Uh, this one is dead. Crap. Crap. Poster boy. Let's go and sign. Welcome in. See you playing some Dark Dungeon? Well, yeah, I was definitely not going to miss this, especially after Red Hook invited me to play it early. For sure. Mistimed. Misdirected. At least that, I, that token's gone. I really want to jump in front, but we could also just straight up deal damage to this one. This is our second run. We lost the first one. So many boss. 
and make all the uh, will I have a referral link to the game for purchase? Yeah, I will tomorrow, yeah. Darkest Dungeon 1, my favorite game? No. I know, a lot of people think it is. It's not my favorite game, but it is one of my favorite modern games, I guess I could say. But not my absolute favorite. Nostalgia is too strong to make me, uh, to make me say that. Excellent work. All right, you can do a little. Reminds you of the orc at Helm's Deep, yeah. Knack too. <laughs> His hands are melded to the bomb, yeah. Starcraft, probably my favorite, yeah. If I had to name one game, it'd probably be either Brood War or maybe even like Super Mario World, you know. Definitely not Greedfall, no. Colonel Sanders dating game. It's pretty high up there too, yeah. A righteous action. We're about to have heart attacks. I can't. I can't do it this time. An unexpected. Re mothered. No. <laughs> Got some holy water, and uh, that's about it. It's hard to beat Broodworm. Yeah, especially when I played it for like probably more than twenty thousand hours or something. Oh my God, we might make it to the second inn. Come on, Sandy. Get y'all crap together. All right. We're almost for a second in you. Oh, the mountain's getting larger and more red. More red. Rest tonight under the mountain's unblinking gaze. Sria gained a quirk from the Shambler's Altar. That was a Shambler's Altar. Sandy gained a quirk for the Shaler's Altar. Oh my lord, that was the Shaler's Altar. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, Cosmic Curiosity completes. We did it, we did the bonus in that one. Nice. Loathing. Evil is overtaking the world as shown by the loathing meter. Higher loathing results in tougher conditions for the party. Plus 20% enemy battle advantage chance. Should have torched it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's check this out. Learn what Do you have three taught, mastery points? That you may stand just a little. We'll look at their at the uh, what they picked up as well. Twenty thousand hours in Brood War. I would say probably at least. Yeah. I mean, I played Brood War for. That's like the only game I played for for a long time. I played it competitively. I pretty much played it every day that I didn't have to be doing something else at that time. For for what? 20 years like uh so we did look through these already one of the ones that i liked uh there's several of them actually but oh what's the upgrade for point blank shot just additional damage and crit this is a preview of the game no this is early access it won't be on steam for a year this is on it's uh you can get it through epic game store tomorrow Um, bolster being able to remove stress seems like a pretty big one as we're getting further and getting more and more stress. That is a lot of damage, yeah. But no extra, like, uh, status effect or anything. Mm -hmm. Huh. That might be a good one to take. We're not really using Absinthe very much. Notice that this one heals even if she's not low health. I might take Dead of Night over Absinthe. And if we do the upgrade, she also has a uh, reduced stress. So. Uh, 
Uh, I really think I'm going to get Blinding Gas. Blinding Gas being able to daze 100% of the time that it hits also, and then a chance to set up a combo seems very, very good. So I think I'm going to get Blinding Gas upgraded. And then in order to combo into that, um, I think I'm going to take Throw Dagger. Throw Dagger's increase... Um, And we need to give her the thing to stealth her off of the uh, Plague Doctor. How much will this cost to purchase tomorrow? 30 USD. Did we die again? No. Let's go on, kid. Okay, I think I'm going to take Throw Dagger. And I think I'm going to update Bolster. Seems alright. Throw Dagger is one of the most satisfying skills in the first Darkest Dungeon. All right, let's take a look at what they picked up here. Stiff knees, minus three speed. Ugh. Eighty percent to crit if, if comboed. Yeah. We're gonna put the um, stealth on her. Book burner is certain dry satire burns the hottest. Is there only one level to upgrade the abilities? I don't know yet. Yeah, I haven't tried to do multiple on the same one yet. All right. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation. We're having more fate. upgrades here. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. We can get another stealth. Plus four speed. Plus four speed sounds really good too. Oh my god, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> There's no horror greater than Unknown Abyss of Night. Plus 100% scout chance for academic studies and heal to 25%. Because we got all those academic studies, I guess. Alright. Such power in such a little thing. My god, I'm gonna buy Laudanum. I'm gonna buy Laudanum. <laughs> a regrettably <laughs> necessary acquisition. All right, uh, in items, let's see here. Minus three stress. Look at them all like, oh, is that for me? That's pretty cool too. Oh, well, well, nope. Early access is already up. Early access is tomorrow. On Epic. Let's go, Booger. All right. Uh, we don't need any of the food. I think we're good to choose our next. Oh, I want to put the um, speed trinket on. All right. Use for me. Let's see. We can't go to the sluice or. All right. So we've been to. Oh, no. That reminds me of the baby. No time to bleed. Avoid the hospital for one extra mastery point. Complete this region without any upgrades mounted on the stagecoach. I think I'm going to do this one. Uh, Hope unlocks more stuff for us to play in future levels so i think that's the way i'm gonna go so let's we'll take this stuff mindfulness on. as vital to survival as sharp yeah and yeah i definitely want that hope we think about dungeon 2 career dungeon 1 it's a completely different game it's it borderline is a different genre it, it can be said that it's a different genre it's good i like it a lot so far we're very early on but it is definitely a spin-off more than it feels like a sequel 
which is kind of a good thing in a way because then it doesn't feel like it replaces Darkest Dungeon 1. You can play either one depending on what kind of game you want to play. Can you invite more people? No, you get four people. The farms right, and fields of our kingdom overrun with putrescence and rot. Putrescence. Right. Lore-wise, it's a sequel, but as far as gameplay, it's more of a spin-off, yeah. Here we go. The <laughs> rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. We got some okay scouting. Charges three each chamber every fight. So what's our early uh, choice here? Oh, we can choose fight or fight. Watchtower. We'll probably go to the right and try to get the scouting off the watchtower. Let's rift the carriage. Miss that food. I spy with my little eye something something or we can look upon their noble struggle and be humbled by it. We got three options. Uh, there's a little hope on the road, but still it falls on us to help. We lose some light, we get some food and, and items. I could dazzle them with some knife tricks. We lose a lot of light, but we get a lot of stuff. Um, we can prove to them they can survive. An unexpected find. Hey, nice. Respectful. Boxing gloves, strength buff. So it's a, those are in items. Don't really uh, impact right now. So play doctor, just survive. <laughs> Lol. I might should do it on the other way. Yeah, yeah, Inspector, I know. Yeah, I saw. I'm sorry. Oh, a festering impasse. Ended by toothy fiends. I gotta get that laudanum up. Uh. Okay. Got a lot of it. So you're not dying. So I'm trying. Let's go to Wobbles. Let's say that to the peasants. Oh god, these friggin' guys. Alright. So we know a few things here. We have not had this combination, but we know this guy can eat them to get buffed. He can also so he can eat the goats anytime, but he can also eat their corpses to heal and get buffed. These also can get a repost. Heal on someone else? Well it doesn't matter who it's on really, right? It doesn't take up your action, and you can use it on anyone, so. Uh, I think we're still gonna go for, let's go ahead and use Laudan. We're gonna get a repose up. Try to kill one of the goats, even though he's probably gonna eat it. Laudan side effects. Let's get one of these killed first, and we'll go from there. Ooh, pretty percent additional damage. Okay, this has no death low resist, so it's gonna bleed out. He is pretty blight resistant. They all kind of are. We'll try to get it on him. Blood and finally has a use, a big use, yeah. So in this game, I've noticed that if they die with a damage over time, it does not remove the corpse. All right, our first point blank shot.
get wrecked, goat. Now we got the combo going. 80% crit chance. <laughs> Jesus. Messy. But <laughs> effective. <laughs> it's a good line. What's the other grave robber skill? The heal one we were looking at. That one is the corpse eating one. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking it instead. It's not upgraded yet. But I might take it anyway over uh, the absinthe one. How does the combo work? Certain moves give a t combo token. You'll see it down here. It's the like little burning skull. If they have a combo token, if a move says it interacts with that combo token, then it does that extra effect. For her, it's additional crit. This game has a, a lot of corpse interaction in general, yeah, which is nice. Company. Hey, we got a minus one stress. Nice. I I really love his staggered hot back. Of course, that high death low resist. <laughs> So he's comboed, so we get an 80% crit chance. Nuts. Work. The stagger animation is so good. Hateful. First time we've gotten that one. Claimed dominion here. He still hasn't eaten the corpse. Hmm. Crap, man. Uh, Blinding Gas has a cooldown, which is interesting. Interesting. Team is super toxic. Nice. True teamwork. of mastery did that teamwork just make it so when he hit death's door the gray robber finished him off rather than having to hit him again for a death blow check that's kind of nuts actually extra animation death blows make it more impactful than usual attacks uh the enemies do have a graphical difference but uh, i don't know if the actual attack itself does it was like a tag team move yeah Pretty cool. We got the plus one speed trinket. We don't need the fire resist here as much, it doesn't seem like. That's more in the burning zone, so I think I'm gonna trade that out. Really worried about our stress. We gotta get some more laudum. Also need to see if I can spam bolster for a little bit. Oh, that looks fine. Yeah, we'll eat that. They don't see us. You need extra speed. Well, yeah, obviously. Stack time. Tried and Seems tested. like my microphone audio is delayed. Be counted on. Does anyone else think that? I haven't seen anyone mention it. Could be Twitch has been having audio issues though today. You could always try refreshing. It's fine for everyone else. Oh, God. It's on Twitch's in, yeah. Well, I guess we'll take advantage of that. Sickle did, yeah, it's crazy. It's nuts. Nice. Mother's embrace. <laughs> We're just getting bounced around everywhere. 
The slow suffering begins. She got stealth. Got, we got lucky there. We don't have a combo built up yet. And she had her uh, damage reduced by 50%. Destroying negative tokens. Oh, that's their bellies? Oh, God. Not even thinking about it. Why doesn't five go? That's kind of that's something I'm gonna have to tell them, or maybe it's in the options. But you can use hotkeys to go to every move aside from your fifth one. Five doesn't work. Oddly. Stumble's so good. Good combo. That eighty percent crit, cheese man. I hope that's not their bellies. All right, he's on death's door. I really like that there's so many different animations. Ooh, get out of here. Oh, uh, lost in space triggered. She got pulled all the way to the front. Corpse has been eaten. She's at nine. Hopefully, uh, bolster works. That was a combat item. Yeah. The big heal was a combat item. I could have used it on anyone. Or with anyone. Okay, she did get it. Nice. Whoa! Hopeful! Aspiration nice. Unites the, hopeful. the relationship buffs are kind of neat, yeah. Didn't get knocked back, unfortunately. Ooh. He resisted the disease. Very good. That combo is crazy. Hang on. Oh, there's a lot of things triggering here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not competing or anything. Uh, it didn't get her. Man, she's so close. We're gonna go ahead and use one of our battlefield medicines. We got three of them. I feel like this is his backward step. It was much more exciting and interesting when you first saw it. It's very similar to other games that are out there. I don't want it to be Darkest Dungeon again, though, you know? But for me, I'm liking it so far. It's fun so far. We'll have to see if it has longevity. That's a big thing. Like, after we've played it, dude, am I going to want to play this for 2,000 hours? I don't know. Maybe. But, I mean, some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. Have to wait and see which one, uh, which side I'm on. A breakthrough. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I wonder if it can actually still have a negative effect even... Uh, I'm going to keep using Bolster. Even when it gets the positive roll. Because it does still say tested, which is weird, yeah. I'm trying to get her off of that. Guess I need to use Laudanum on... Oh, no, we're out. And if she gets crit, we're going to have a bad time. Roguelite is a good way to scale a game difficulty without relying on in-game content as well.
Okay. I was like, why didn't his health go down? Man, she's just not getting hit by that. All five paths available? I, I don't know, yeah. We haven't made it that far. There we go. You guys start becoming friends again, please. By confronting the hey, we got a mastery point. We can upgrade a skill if we make it to the end. Also got a 20% uh, blight resist trinket. 25% blight resist trinket. Some in items. Another combat south. Sixty-five the leagues to the inn. Oh lord. I think that's good. Uh, let's trade out the move resist for the blight resist. On we go. There are difficulty options? Not that I've seen yet. Uh, do we want to go scouting? Or oh, uh, a mystery? We should probably go scouting so we can choose where we want to go for with some knowledge. Itself. What's the golden trinket we have? Uh, this one is like an item set. If you have the other one, Dark Impulse is equipped, you get 50% movement resistance. When can you swap skills? You can swap skills at any time. So, like, if I want to... Uh, outside of combat, I suppose. So, like, if I want to um, get rid of Absinthe for the Dread of Knights, we'll do that. There we go. We'll try that out. The wagon is the hamlet now, yeah. The inn is kind of like a mini hamlet, in a way. Oh god, Sani. Sani had the uh, heart attack basically back there. It's not a heart attack anymore, but... Oof. We gotta heal her up right at the beginning of this. We're gonna have to use one of those... Oh, it's Tree Branch Smackdown guy. We got the taunt in the beginning at least. Friggin guys. Like a very deadly Oregon trail. <laughs> I kind of want to kill one of them first, but with the way that um, Breacher works, it's just not as feasible. Yeah, I noticed the heal right before we got here, too. Yeah, they got like a plus two or something. Protect the child. She's not a child. I as well use poison darts. It's gonna block some of the main damage anyway. And we can at least get the blight through, yeah. Ooh, get out of here. Destroy the child. Child destroyed us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus 50% damage. Fantastic. All right, now he has the combo token, so she's going to have a lot of crit chance. 80%. A brilliant nice. conclusion. Does he have death blow resist? I think he does. He does. He's going to go to death's door, though. Can we put him to death's door now? And then he might die to those. Yeah, let's do that. Suffering begins. Jeez. Combo, it depends. So the combo token, uh, as its name suggests, combos with other moves dependent on that move. So with the thrown dagger, the combo gives us additional crit. But with other ones, it might be different. Like with a man at arms, he has one where if it combos, it could stun, for instance. Okay, 
they're both blinded, which is fantastic. There is a cooldown on that move, so. Yeah, and it consumes the combo charge, yeah, so it adds another layer of strategy. It Like there, we have the 80% chance to crit. And we missed it that time. I was like, we're gonna kill it. Should've just done this. Eat the corpse. Uh, I'll try to before we go. There is comfort in company. Freaking hateful. Is there much in the way of lore? Yeah, and each character has their own storyline now as well. It's pretty cool. Zoom art mechanic from D1 mods? I don't know, yeah. Maybe. It's at least similar, either way. A righteous action. Might as well take the heal before we go. Hopeful. Nice. Yeah. Call her smelly. Oh, with wait. Okay. We got four relics. Well, we cast some corpses again. The graves don't fit. Yeah, that is an interesting point. Yeah, I would like that too. That is, that's interesting because so far everything is so. Um, unique like as far as the Everywhere. animation changes depending on what you hit them with and like dominion. if they're on death's door or not which move you're using all that kind of stuff uh but the corpses are all the same pretty much yeah that's good good catch you don't really need the well how much we only have 19 relics watch tower is really good yeah lots of scouting Let's go unlock another move. Even if we lose this run from it, I need to get these unlocks, you know? Let's just stay right. An elementary problem, is it not? In the early days, Darkest Dungeon had standard graves too. That's true, yeah. Hello, I already have one of those. Thanks. Oh God, it's going on its own. You have many cats. My wife is in here with arms full of cats. The desperate few. Get two options. Um, plus 15 torchlight. We're currently at 69 torchlight. And some treasure or minus 12. We still get plus 15 torchlight. We lose some. Hmm. I'm going this one. Can you rob them? Occasionally. This time we can't. Abandoned Might regret that. Or forgotten. It is ours now. Yeah, we didn't get... I mean, if we can make it to the end, that's going to help a lot, but... Cat wants to play. Which one? But yeah, we actually did have a chance to attack them once already. Uh, Alright, so Hero Shrine allows us to continue a hero's story and unlock a new skill. Let's think about this before we get there. We already did part one of the High Woman and unlock point blank shot. Destiny will not be denied. I feel like we're I feel like I'm gonna do the plague doctor one this time. The man darns are like, what about me? Got a lot of stress heal items, yeah, but I can only use them at the end. We're only halfway to the end. Not even quite halfway. Uh, Inspector just had a stroke, a meltdown, it's called in this game. Did you say something? All right, here we go. Let's see part one of the Plague Doctor. The jeers, the whispers, they pushed me deep into my studies. Plague. 
doctor. Chapter one. The good student. The good students. Brilliant and bold, her unconventional theories created nothing short of a scandal in her fourth year. The mocking whispers and scornful glares of her peers and professors had an ironically invigorating effect on her extracurricular experiments. The mysteries of the human body, of life and death itself, hovered just above her scalpel's reach. If only she could acquire a corpse of sufficient freshness. Hmm. We get plus one mastery, we unlock emboldening vapors. Give our target additional damage. I wonder how that's gonna work. If it's gonna be a rest of, so far there's not been things that are like remainder of combat really from skills. So it might just be a token just like the rest of the things. We didn't actually get to fight with her or on her yet. Lore. All right, on we go. Specter, you need to stop being almost dead. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Here we go. Surprise, Ryan. You'll be in a really good state for the next one. Oh, there's the friggin' antiquarian again. Now only greed. Yeah, yeah. Great, thanks. She's gonna end up being guarded anyway, and we can't really break guard. So I think I'm just gonna kill one of these right off the bat. Evil Antiquarian once more. Good lord, man. The slow suffering begins. Okay, got rid of the block, got the blight on there. Yeah, we got the 30% max HP. Uh, so this is an interesting thing. We've been seeing this throughout. This opens up, like maybe it's already in the game later on or something like that. This opens up uh, like mutator runs, which I would love for there to be like a weekly or monthly mutator run where there's like things like this in, in effect the entire run. Uh, those would be really cool, like rotating challenges that they could do. And a lot of roguelike games do things like that. All right. So he's going down to death's door. He's dead. I mean, I, I think I'm just gonna bolster. There is comfort in company. Deal way less damage in the early game, created a Darcy's one. Yeah, I've noticed the, the damage. Um, range is a lot smaller, yeah. Oh, now we can point blank shot him. Okay, that one's dead. I think we need to jump in front. Misdirected. Heal some of these bleeds uh, and blights. Jump in front on our hand at arms. Couldn't for the life of you figure out why and you unmuted, couldn't hear. Because you took your headset off. <laughs> Sorry to laugh at you, J-Mac.
Are we winning? I don't know. <laughs> Occasionally. Occasionally. Could have probably threw that blight on someone else if I was going to do that, but I need to jump in front. This aspect is virtually identical. The four on four is, but combat is actually quite a bit different in a lot of ways. Like you can see partial turn order. There's a lot of token based systems in the game, combos. Stress works differently. There's max stress is 10 instead of 100. There's no affliction or virtue in that regards. Uh, the buddy system or whatever you want to call it is a, is a major part of the stress thing compared to like the virtue and affliction system. There are some similarities still though, for sure. Let's get rid of that bleeding blight, heal a little bit. Relief from caustic agony. Updated. It's a whole new game. It is a whole new game. Yep. Let's go on. Dan can I welcome in? Well, similar, yeah, but just said identical, so that's why I was saying the differences. Uh, let's get our post back up. Or, well, two more stacks, I suppose. It was already up some. Oh, you want to get up there and get a point blank shot again? Might as well heal again before we get out of this. Music's good again, too, yeah. Hmm, that was interesting. Have music set up for when they synchronize their head bobbing. Why? I don't know why they changed the icons. Yeah, for like blight. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We're almost out of this. I think I'm just gonna bolster. There is comfort in company. Is that better than the original game? Uh, I don't know if it's better or worse yet. Yeah, we're, I mean, this is the first hands-on we've ever gotten with it. It's very different, but I'm liking them both at the moment. Another impediment cleared with impunity. <laughs> yeah, we might as well heal up before we get out. Heal up what we can. There's not a lot we can do. But... Whoa! The antiquarian enemy in the front can do 14 damage? We don't have to town yet? There is no town. The hamlet is no more. A miscalculation, perhaps. That was some big damage I wasn't expecting. I kind of want to eat the corpse, but I don't want to eat another hit from that dark or, uh, antiquarian. <laughs> We do have the block from that. <laughs> Where's this damage in the first Darkest Dungeon? Yeah, apparently she sharpened her blade now. Just like I feared? I mean, I wasn't really... So I just had... Con so there's a difference of being like concerned about how things are going to play out, and I don't know still, right? So the, we're still really early on. So I can still see some of the systems maybe being annoying as we go forward, but um, so far it's fun, but yeah, I won't know until we really put a lot of time in it, you know? Where was, where was she when we needed her in ladies night? Yeah. We'll, we'll play, we'll see. Oh, the heal can crit off the grave. So brows, unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. 
Uh, we have no more heals, so we might as well just kill her. Holy crap. <laughs> she doesn't have her dodge trinkets, though, yeah. Die already! What's your death low resist? It's down to five now. <laughs> she was on death's door, so that's why she was, like, bent over. The greatest teacher of all. High chance of improving affinity, low chance of harming affinity. An end item, another plus two speed trinket. She apparently has death low to resist trinkets. Yeah, I don't know. This this token thing, I don't know. It's probably helping just about as much as it's hindering. I'll leave it for now. Oops. Um. Get on Epic before stream. I don't know what you mean. Scrappy, welcome in. All right. Before Steam, yeah, Steam won't come out uh, for another year. All right, now we should be able to. Now we should be able to ride. Yeah. So during early access, it'll be exclusive to the Epic Game Store. Early access begins tomorrow. Um, for everyone on the other game store. And then about a year after that, it'll be on Steam. Voracious and decadent, the landowners and peasants alike descended into an orgy of consumption. All right, we don't actually don't have a lot to spend at all now. Guess that will be bad for a year. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be crying into all their epic money. Just like how Hades, the developers of Hades are probably so upset with their with their year early access on, on Epic Game Store. They all had to just live off ramen noodles for the year and the game failed. Hades, like no one's ever heard of it. Huh? I don't know, try it. All right. Um, We need to buy Laud. Hades, who's ever heard of Hades? <laughs> Don't have any Laud and <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh no. Hades, what is that? We're gonna have to throw some other stuff down and see if we want. We gotta make it to the end. This is rough. I think I'm actually getting rid of this. I probably shouldn't, but I think I'm going to. You want some ramen? <laughs> Those we'll use at the next inn. Maybe I don't need all of them. The tools of violence. Despicable. All right, good dangerous. enough, I guess. Hey, it's just some tiny indie game. Yeah, never made any any progress on. It's our old friendly caretaker. Yep. It's one of the small games. Yeah. It's like one of those underground. Oh my god. I saw a comment that reminds me. I saw a Reddit comment about Darkest Dungeon 2 that I cannot believe this is like a real life. This person goes, Oh my god. I hope Darkest Dungeon 2 doesn't become popular. I really hope it doesn't become mainstream. It's like, I don't want the. I don't want the fan base to become just terrible. So I hope not many people play it. And I was like, are you, what is wrong with you? How can you type this out? I hope they're just trolling. <laughs> you hate it because it makes you use laudanum. Uh, all right, we can get a buff by going with a plate doctor. Doc is dungeon two, it's too mainstream. And they like wave their hair out of their eyes. All right, these are all plague eaters, so the goats can be eaten at any time. 
And these guys, or their corpse can be eaten for a buff too. They also get a repost move. Gatekeeper, it's so weird. When is Darkest Dungeon 3 coming out? <laughs> I won't like Darkest Dungeon much if it's popular. They're the sort of people that make the fan base terrible. That is the truth. I kind of don't want to turn this into a corpse before she goes. Maybe we should go ahead and eat one of those repose on our tanky boy. Oh, that was a big repose. Such conformist. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I gotta remove that move. Loss in space is just brutal sometimes. Uh, I should have hit that one. That was my. That was a mistake. Man, I might should destroy the corpse. Hmm. All right, blinding glass or gas hit both. We also got the combo back there. We need to get in front of her so she can actually use that. With the laudanum. <laughs> now you finally treat your excited. <laughs> three that time okay welcome back all right it's combo time 80 percent crit chance because of the combo failed i've heard of inscription i have heard of it but i haven't seen any of it muffin of evil welcome back muffin it's been a long time thank you for the seven months thank you muffin much love to muffin how many experience together now for enemies well, i mean and talk to Lunar about that. She was shipping Reynault and the Siren, so, you know. It's unfortunate. Never shipped enemies, what a casual. <laughs> You know what triggers relationship mechanics? There's a couple things that I've noticed so far. It seems like when people are stressed, they seem to lash out at each other more, which makes a lot of sense. The other thing is if you choose uh, something that other ones don't agree to when you're on the road. So like on the road, if you are, uh, if you get the option to betray one of the people that, instead of help them, then it, everyone else that's opposed to that We'll take a hit on their relationship. Why are their heads so small? Their heads are like actual normal size heads instead of bobble heads. I don't want to eat up the combo. She's going to get that. Let's go ahead and get the heal on here. Get rid of the blight as well. It only heals under 50%. I gotta remember that. Um, Let's actually try to get rid of some stress. Why do they no longer have ball heads? You'll have to ask Red Hook. Messy. Big heads is canon for this universe. <laughs> But we find new Lovecraftian horror styles. You, saw, you should have saw the baby boss earlier. Ugh. I might. I'm really thinking about stopping uh, use of that trinket. It seems about 50 50 whether it screws us over or helps us. Makes sense, but. Oh no! <laughs> 
killing the heart shrunk everyone's heads. <laughs> uh, pronounced boss, baby. Crap. Envious. He covets what the other has and plots to take it. A little help impeccably timed. So much friendship. Man, Arm Arms was the second eye. Will that get rid of that? Does that count as a token, I wonder? No, it does not. He now has lost in time. Plus eight speed when stress damage, 33% chance of becoming dazed. Destroyed positive token, 30%. We might as well take that trinket off of him. I think I'm going to. Yeah, everyone's starting to hate each other. Yeah, I think only the bottom ones count as tokens. Yep. These are all tokens. Top or whatever status effects. Oh, come on, lady. The work continues. We just had two meltdowns at once, yeah. But I haven't had a meltdown while someone's on death's door. I'm wondering if that'll kill them. Yes, he will. Dots and status, yeah. Crow's nest. Oh boy. You got early access? I did, yep. The loathing festers. Uh so I'm gonna get rid of that. Maybe not entirely, but I'm gonna replace it at the moment. We gotta throw down two items to be able to continue. Or maybe not. Can only hold two of those. Okay. So what do you want to throw down? Um, definitely want to keep the minus stress if we can. Can't sell things in this, so. Any idea what the release hour will be tomorrow? I don't know. This came out for early access today at 9 a.m. Eastern, and so I don't know if that's going to be the same tomorrow for for the complete early access or not. I really should have re-equipped those last time. Can we do that? Oh, whoops. Can't do it unless we're at the end. That's what I thought. Mara, welcome in. How do you replace characters, or is this truly more roguelike? It's it's way more roguelike. Yeah, you don't replace characters on the road as far as we've seen. Each run you start with four characters, and that's your four I characters for the run. Humanity, twisted by hopelessness. Alright, we've seen this fight before. Oh yeah, yeah, that's why I took this stuff off the wagon, yeah. Thank you. Music box hype. Full run of this is like five to eight hours, yeah. Uh, yes, we are past the second in, yep. So it's not a really a campaign anymore. I mean, it, it depends much more close or it's just something like Slay the Spire, or... What's interesting is it's actually a lot more similar to, like, Irritus. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of funny. I 
doesn't have a ton of light resist, but has some. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Madman finally upgraded countered apparel. I'm gonna jump in front so we can start getting the combo here. So this Meyer has two hours. What I just meant as far as like singular runs, yeah. Not the amount of time, but like a singular run. The amount of hours this takes is almost the exact same as like Irises. Like a, a one and done sort of thing. Respectable. Irises, yeah. Irises, Lord of the Dead. Uh, all right, let's get the combos rolling here. I only have four more rounds to kill them if I want to reward. We didn't get the combo roll. Cool, so uh, if you want to see a playthrough of Irritus, you can also type exclamation I R A T U S, I believe. I think we have a playthrough of it up. Here is fun. Yeah, I actually enjoyed it. A lot of people crapped on it, but it was fun all together. Eighteen crit on that corpse. All right. So. Here just was fun. Uh, I didn't like it as much as Darkest Dungeon. The art style was very mobile game-ish. They fixed it a little bit in full release. Like, it actually was like playing with paper dolls when it was in early access. Uh, but I ended up liking it overall, yeah. It's currently stealthed. None of your upgrades carry over? No, it's more like unlock. So like a typical roguelike game where you unlock things that can appear in future runs. But you can't, like, use your upgraded characters in your next run. That's dead, so we might as well uh, try to recover some here. Okay. Out of progression, you could get the best team almost off the bat. Never use or do anything else. Like Slay the Spire in that regard, yeah. yeah. I'm like afraid to kill it because I, with him, because I'm worried that they will have a f negative impact on one another because it's about to die to the Plague Doctor, so. All outdoor battles, uh, the layer battle was indoors, and that's the one that we eventually lost the the boss baby. Trinket, it gives 10% damage. First damage-oriented trinket we found. Uh, I don't know if there's anything like ascension levels or anything like that yet. Thank you, Paladin. Not a real life fan, but love Dark Ascension. Uh, let's... Oh, roguelike. My bad. I was like, real life. Turn up to suit your enjoyment. It's your time with me again. <laughs> Thank you. 10% damage. Well, I kept reading that as real life. I was like, no, this isn't a real life game. Shut nuts is having the time of his life. No stress. He doesn't care. How does drinking Healy Juice crit? That's another good question. Oh my god, we're almost to the third in. Oh, uh, we're about to run into flesh eaters. Plague eaters, rather. I could run away. I'm not going to run away. Shoved out speeder baller, per usual. 
Huh, interesting. Yeah, this one seems, uh, there's only three enemies, which is unusual so far. Compared to the other, yeah. Larval slop, mmm, delicious. Just like Granny used to make. Has quite a bit of light resistance. Fifteen. I gotta look at the base. Gotta have your proteins. Some problematic goats, to say the least. That one's so close to dying. I kind of just want to keep bolstering with him. There is comfort in company. Let's... Oh, they're becoming friends. More of the character lore? Yeah, I really like that part too, yeah. The rollover pot. Yeah, the UI is really nice, yeah. The UI design has definitely improved since the first Darkest Dungeon. Hey, look at that. People are starting to like each other again a little bit. Okay, we're gonna try to blind them. Uh, we got the combo proc also. So, Throw Dagger now has 80% crit chance on them. Envious? You dazed him just by being envious? Wow. Backstory, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna branch off as a different, or an addition to the story front. Maybe death a little bit different than player death blow. Seems like you can kill them from more than zero health. It depends on the enemy. Some enemies don't have any death blow resist. Those enemies will die as soon as they hit zero health. Uh, you can see that, well, they both. So in the very bottom right, you see the DTH, the death blow. Neither of these have any death blow resist, so they just die as soon as they hit zero. Yeah, no problem. Stress him by being envious, dude. Ooh, that was a big goat hit. They fit all of burn, but not all of stun, that's right. Goats are no joke. Messy, but effective. Mm. Oh, wait. All right, those tokens are gone. Try and kill it, probably. Company. Might, well, no, not really. I'm gonna try to get rid of some of his stress. Not work out. Envious. Oh, that sucks. Vomit pig over vomit goat. Oh, that feels bad. A vomit pig rides a vomit goat. Greedy boy. Unclean. <laughs> you be good with that. Lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Bobbles, spoons, or bobbles. Seem key in a year from now if you buy it in early access. Usually that does not happen. I've not seen that happen before. Usually they have a sell on Steam release if they do like the Hades route, which we were talking about earlier. Gotta throw down three things. All 
All right, no, we only need to throw down two. Those can't be combined. We already tried that. I actually don't think I'm gonna use this again. I'll watch us find the other rare piece. Let's go to MK. Oh well. Back. Your steadfast oh well. Is greatly appreciated. I won't regret this for sure. Despair! Give the resub despair. 40 months. 4 a.m. Darkest Dungeon 2. You're being here is despair. Um Hero Shrine. Let's go see some more lore. While there is still more time. lore, more unlocks. I get more heroes to play with. They're unlocked through some some way. I'm not sure yet. This is only our second outing, so we haven't unlocked additional characters yet. I don't know if it's based on um we call them the hope that you get from each run, like a lot of the things seem to be, uh, or something specific. Yeah, I don't know. Light's getting low. Last light on earth goes out, the world ends. Uh oh. <laughs> we must understand the path. Um, ever to be free all right, we've done one of everyone aside from uh, Chub Nuts here, <laughs> the man at arms. So let's check out Chub Nuts lore. Party's not having a good time. Man at arms. Chapter one. A premature promotion. Look back, Aram. The politics of a military career are. Perhaps as treacherous as war itself. My driving, yes. Though untested in combat, his acumen for advancement was unmatched. Through a dubious campaign of influence and intimidation, he had at last claimed a coveted command and was eager to bask in the glory of the victories that were sure to come. What's happening so far in the story in a nutshell? In a nutshell, it seems as though we did something bad in Darkest Dungeon 1. It's very probable, based on what we've seen, that the heart was hold was concentrating the evil into the hamlet. Now the heart's gone, the whole world is getting destroyed. And we're trying to make our way to the mountain where this stuff seems to be worse at. Like, things get worse as you get closer to the mountain. So we're going there to figure out what the crap's going on. Bellow. Remove Repost. And my, well, you can remove Repost. Darkest Dungeon 2 is a sequel. Yes. To Darkest Dungeon 1. That mountain is NordVPN. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it is. So the mountain is kind of like the final darkest... Do yeah, something like that. We don't know. We haven't gotten there yet, but... We don't know 100%. That's that's what it feels like so far. That was a uh, prequel. Uh, it appears to be a sequel, yeah. Oh, was that... I think that was a laudanum we just missed. Solution have wormed their way into the world. Have we fought one of those yet? A butcher? I don't remember. Could be an interlude between the way it plays out. Yeah, that's true. Too. Be another iteration of the ancestor. Got our repost up. Some is the least white resistance, so we'll go ahead and start stacking some on there. All right, that's dead unless he eats it. No, no, no.
Wait a second. Did you let it eat you? Vile Feast healed this one without damaging anything else? Is that like the the wacky inflatable arm flailing tube zombies from Darkest Dungeon 1? Hmm. Road trips are basically long dungeon corridors. They're just getting bounced around everywhere. Who's the plague doctor? Did he just uneat it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Stria, Stria. We should kill that one. This debuff? It's a minus damage de debuff. Is that the one you're talking about or something in the... Let's try to blind this guy. Small blight. Animations are really, yeah, I really like how they change how they stand and stuff depending on which move you're going to use. Huh, so that's interesting. Get out of here, goat. The work continues. Little ass bopping looks good so far. They got the music in them to spare, they can't help it. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. Didn't hit anyone. It looked like it got rid of its token there, L. Yeah, it got rid of the token on the goat, I think. Darkest vibes. Well, that is not good. There is comfort in company. I <laughs> friggin' missed the highway again. Oh, oh feels bad. Vibing and thriving. Got the blind. Didn't get the combo, though. Thriving, not so much. Blind coming in handy, though. I think it's a tanky boy. Or girl. They are tanky. No death blow resist, so it is dead. Oh no, what the? <laughs> this friggin' thing. He blocked her ability to move forward. Great, you know what? That means you don't get stress healing. Uh, I am not advancing. We're just gonna take. No, I'm just going. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Talks about the Chad Mace user is chill. What does Red Hook mean by this? We're almost at the end. I don't want to throw down my bobbles. I need bobbles. Uh, spoons. I know it was laudanum, but I had to do another fight. Last time I did that, I ran into Boss Baby and died, so, you know. We'll wait on that. Tori's full, I know, I don't even know why I'm still hitting him. What if that's like laudanum in there? I'm gonna throw down something else. Nothing at all. 
Nothing at all. All spoons are bad. I couldn't get over there. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. How far over? The place like there is a little worse for wear. But familiar nonetheless. So you gained a quirk from the Butcher's Feast. You got everyone gained a quirk. Naked and afraid complete. Nice. Nice. We did it. Loathing still at three. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom really quick before we start the last half of this run, if we get to the end anyway. I'll be right back. Enjoy the inn. Didn't realize I was controlling the wagon yet. Alright, we got clean hands and an empty bladder, and we're good to go. I give Inspector some stress relief cuddles. Mm -hmm. I'm blocking Stria. I end up having to float in the top left one of these days, you know? Alright, right. mastery. We have five mastery points from that leg. You can only upgrade each move once. So people were asking, looks like you only upgrade each move once. Are you so excited, Mike? All right, um, let's see. What are some things that we're already using a whole lot? You can make point blank shots stronger. Obviously we can only use that when we get into the front. Uh, what does the Plague Doctor's incision do on upgrade? Ignores bleed resistance when the target is comboed. It's like whatever. I don't feel medicine. Heals a little bit more. Good job, bolding vapors. Hmm. This gameplay feel, it's uh combat's been pretty good so far overall. But we're only on our second uh, attempt, so we haven't played it a whole long time. Noxious blast. Ignores when comboed. Lots of combos there. We use Wicked Slice a whole lot as well. Thank you, Swanky. Welcome in. Hmm. So, Wicked Slice, we'll probably upgrade that. Minus five speed against the target. Well. <laughs> All right, I'll grab Wicked Slice. So we can make it so that she can get rid of stress by consuming a corpse. 
Seems like it might be a good idea. And we... Then even if we get Laudanum, we can just focus Laudanum on someone else. Uh, she can get rid of corpses. Got this? How's it going, Good King? Welcome in. I just kind of use it more often. Dead Knight looks really good. Yeah. I think I'm going to take... Um, heal 50% off the corpse is really nice as well. And minus one guaranteed stress. I think I'll take it. Corpse is so hungry. We're mainly using blinding gas. We're also using incision a bit. But the upgrade, aside from additional damage and whatnot, doesn't feel as vital to me. Do you use Rampart a whole lot? You can also stun when the target is comboed or dazed. Or it does daze. Then it, if it can combo into a stun. I think I'll take that as well. What is Absinthe? So Absinthe, Absinthe uh, heals in boss, so it can only be used when she's... It's only for herself, and it's only when she's under 25%. I've also been using Poison Dart a lot. This upgrades it to a 4 damage dot from a 2. I think I might take that also. One more. I was in starting your day at 5.30 a.m. Finish them around 1 a.m. That's crazy. So what are we using outside of blinding gas with the most... It does up its damage, its crit, and its bleed a little bit. I think I might just buff point blank shot. Praise the sub. Problem is, we're actually not able to use point blank shot as much as we should be able to because of the uh, breacher quirk on our plague doctor. So, huh? Use the heal a lot too. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a huge buff. It only increases the heal by 5%. Hmm. Uh, Croctus, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here. And you can only use it 3 per battle. I mean, that could be the difference in saving us or not, though. Alright, we'll take it. Okay. Um, Cosmic Curiosity. Visit at least 3 Agnivit Studies. Avoid the Watchtower for 500 hope. Wow. Well, so we can put these back mindfulness on. As vital to survival I like how it actually adds it to the steel. cart. It's pretty cool. Point blank is really strong in this so far, so yeah. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. 25% disease resist. Disease resist seemed uh, more important on the last run than this one. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand right. just a little taller at the end. In items, uh, no one needs to eat. Minus two stress, blocked by resolution. Anyway. There you go, Inspector. Drink up. Two targets, strength buff, minus one stress, chance of positive or negative affinity. Might use it anyway. One target, minus three stress. Plus bleed resist until the next in. Um, we got that too. High chance of improving affinity and very small to deuce. So that's blocked because of their current relationship. Yep. All right. High chance of improving affinity, low chance of harming affinity. All right, let's try it. All right. Well, Sani, uh... Okay. That kind of sucked. All right, anything else before we... Improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Oh, still a lot of man, oh man. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. Oh, fire attack. That was confusing, it, yeah, it was a little weird. It never did. Also, buy-in items. 
Chance to buy dodge token each turn until the next in. I'm going to buy one of those again. Uh, who should I put that on? I think I'm gonna put it on Inspector again. He's up front. There you go, Inspector. Have a speed bag. Enjoy your time. Something to look out for in game. Alright, on we go, I think. Grave calling. Cause of curiosity. Um, the sprawl. We actually have huge scouting chance in the sprawl. Plus, I wanna get hope to unlock things, so. Spoons? Uh, I think they were one of the bobbles. There's also a spoon trinket, but the just random spoons you get are bobbles, I believe. The squares indicate your relics. That's what you buy items, uh, like, uh, supplies with. The triangle or diamond, whatever. Uh, the diamond one is your skill points, where you upgrade skills. And the triangle is the one that you buy trinkets with. Back. There is no spoon. All right, I'm going this way. We're going to bat country. Cities burn. All that beauty and knowledge. Passion. Din. I think it was seven months, Din. Much appreciated. Behold. The great cities of man. Ruined. And aflame. It's a long trip. 80 leagues to go. The flame sputters. You must give hope to get Yeah, it. that's why I went here. We have the person with the sprawl. Like ship is testing. Resentment. The slowest sprawl scouting it. Is the poison of them all. Ever seen the blue? The blue seems to be like off path or something. I've noticed that some people get stressed when we go down them. I don't know if certain things are more likely, like maybe enemies block the path more down those ones. You Not 100%. percent strong enough to shoulder more than your share of the burden. I'd like to see them update the art style of the map. Yeah, I can agree with that. Okay, we got two options. Uh, minus 12 for our resources. We get plus 15 to our light, which caps it. We get supplies. Whoa, or minus six and we get way more. Wow. Such choices. Dungeon so Rito. Darkest Dungeon 2, that's right. Scavenge what you can. Two more speed bags. Once more. We actually make it to the next inn. How have you liked so far? It's been fun so far. Okay, so we can go get uh, treasure, we can go for assistance, or we can go to the unknown. Our flame is full. Uh, let's go to the cache and see if we can get some laudanum, maybe. That's the main thing that we're lacking right now. Are you robbing them? You sometimes have the option to. We were helping them, yeah. Sometimes you help them, sometimes you rob them. Treasure sounds fun. Oh, I missed that one. Man, those corners. My wealth and possessions bundled into this meager pile. Got a lot of re relics. Um, 2% max HP, some more in items. Not really what we were looking for, but... You actually used a lot in this game? Uh, yes, a lot. It's like... It's kind of funny that it's my most wanted resource at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna go right, I suppose. Yeah, it seems like the blue gives stress to some people. Ugh, too sharp of a turn for me. Oh, and another one. <laughs> Just going back and forth. Okay, we got a good scout. Direction you go causes stress on the ones that do not approve in that direction. Uh, we can go fights or we can go trade. 
Oh, our first cultist encounter as well. And look, there's the affliction symbol. What do you know? All right, we're gonna go fight. Where are we going? We're going to the mountain. Where things seem to be worse. Where it seems these things are coming from. The mountain. And so they must fall. Looks like all roads lead to cultists, yeah? We can run or we can fight. Here's the thing. We actually have two different people that want to run and only one that wants to fight. If we fight, we get possibility of items, but also uh, it could hurt us, obviously. But if we run, these two are going to like that and their friendship's going to improve, which is a big problem at the moment. I think I'm actually going to run for this. I've never ran from a fight on this, but it seems like the best thing to do when we can get two people. Like, if, if we choose that, she's going to be unhappy. So... Run it is. Retreat. Aren't we already in the... All right. We're going to go for this fight. That was it. I'm having fun so far, yeah. But, I mean, it's too early to tell, you know. Not only too early... I mean, obviously, it's early access, but uh, I haven't played it all that much yet. Stumbling and... I hope the heart ends up being in the mountain. Shadows of what they once were. What's the exclamation point mean? Uh, which... Where? Oh no! It's a ghoul! Think the worry still exists? On the road screen? Uh, I have to check after this. I can't go to it. Man! That ghoul's been working out with Dismas. He's been lifting. Who's opinion take seriously? A couple others, mood. Yeah, so I'm enjoying it so far, but I don't want to give like my initial opinion is it's fun. It's definitely different. It feels like a completely different game. And that can be a good thing for some people and a bad for others. For me so far, I'm enjoying it. It doesn't have much blight resist. Animations are really good, yeah. Oh, suffering begins. There it is. How? It's going bleh. Welcome in. Hey, we actually got minus one on three people. Nice. Oh, right. This is a um, round limited battle. We got to pick it up. I like the animations a lot, especially like how they switch depending on what move you're going to use. It's really cool. Are we in Mordheim? You might be right. Yeah, that was a 50% uh, chance for the stress tick too, yeah. So it's not a guarantee on it. But that is a lot, yeah. The animation seems like a mixture, ironically, of Iritus and Darkest Dungeon. It really does. That's what I was saying earlier, that I, I thought that was kind of funny. Can you knock corpses back? Oh, you can. Nice. All right. He still has Skull Toss. Ow. Stumbling and skull Toss still stuns. Same as the first one. Not a fan of the new UI. I like the new UI better with the hovering and stuff. It's so like I said, most of the things are just going to be um, personal preference. That's what I was saying about the ghoul, yeah, Fanny. Uh, she's stunned. So getting the combo set up is not as important. I'm just going to deal damage. Let's see the pigs. 
Jesus, leave her alone. She's already at eights. Let's see if we can get rid of some. Nope. That's bad. Oh well. Have the collectors around. I I need to go back. No one did. I need to make a clip of the boss baby thing. It was so crazy. Just need to deal three damage. Probably should have bolstered there. Cause he's gonna get to go either way. Okay, Rand is still in. Sandy's in. We're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Let's go ahead and eat that corpse. Mistimed. Dodge Misdirected. token. Okay, we have to kill it this round or else we don't get a reward. God. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. Food barrels increase stacking for food. So that's a coach upgrade. We have a 10% damage shrink it. Yeah. Not so far, it's fun so far, yeah. Welcome in, Paranoia. To start long ago, what do you mean? This run? A couple hours. Two arms. Though it brings so okay, no coach upgrade. <laughs> Hmm. We can either fight or we can fight. I'm gonna go with fight. We got an explodey boy back there. Look at the arms hanging off of her belt. Or it's part of her, one or the other, but either way. Off the immolatus. Alright. Are you sure? I, I would prefer to fight. Eat up its dodge token, I suppose. Their blight resist isn't too, too high. It's just fashion, you wouldn't get it. Immobilize, cannot move or be moved. Slow suffering begins. Oh, the blinds. She's gonna have a breakdown. Makes you all uh, more wanting to play it. I might need to guard her. So she has a breakdown. We uh, just get hit on death door, hopefully. My thoughts in 10 words are less so far. It's not Darkest Dungeon 1, which is okay. And it is fun so far. That's a little bit more than uh, more than 10 probably, but. Who's Tim? <laughs> yeah. Timothy versus everything. Promising development. It is very different from Darkest Dungeon 1, but it's still fun. I like that you got some iconic stuff in the first game. Gotta get him back. Task failed successfully. Man, those particle effects are nice. Nice. Good resist. You want the flesh skirt to be a playable character? <laughs> so she is currently still blinded. There's the meltdown. Souls 
Thrive in chaos uh. they create. Hmm. I'm gonna use that. Rid of her blinds. She's in trouble. Hopefully he just moves forward. Yeah, I think that's all he's done does until he gets to the front. Does he have death blower? We gotta get them moved back. Does he have any death blower resist? I don't think he did. Yeah, yeah, you're dying. Take everyone else with you. Good job. Okay, so no death blow resist. So that one's dead. We can probably finish this one off. Well, we have a debuff, so maybe not. There's no corpse for her to eat either. Okay, that one's dead, that one's dead. Fire is another dot, yep. She's already guarded. The healing cell. Dragged back from the brink. We gotta get our Plague Doctor move back. Breach is so is such a good move, but not on our Plague Doctor. <laughs> Kill someone so she can have a meal, yeah. Actually thinking about doing that here. Even though he's already dead, I feel like we need to get something so we can heal them before we move on to the next fight. Yeah, I want to do that. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Bad relationship thing is brutal, yeah. We're about to have another breakdown there. A little help impeccably timed. Great. They had a meltdown because of it, and they just got another quirk. A positive one. Obsessed with death and what lies beyond the mortal coil. Not sure how it's going to be a positive, but we'll find out. Is there an option to stop how much they all sway around? I don't know. The meltdown thing, it it's basically like a mini heart attack. So it reduces their stress back down um, and it does a bunch of damage to them. I'm guessing if they're on death door, it'd probably kill them. Also, it seems to impact their relationship. It does seem like relationship trigger an awful lot. Yeah, like a whole lot. Haven shows the number. I thought it was um, related to their uh, the relationship specifically, but I might be wrong. Yeah. So that's she has death low resistance though. It's like catharsis for them. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. All right, we got some bobbles. Place our healing salve a little bit. That's pretty rough. At the beginning of this, we were getting quite a bit a positive relationship, but as we've gone forward oh, and stress gets reasons. more, we get tons and tons of negative.
Remember I got rid of that fire burn resist trinket? Whoops. I'm so I'm already using that. So on them, I've been using bolster almost every single fight, depending on the fight, especially at the end. And it's it's only a 50% chance to remove one stress from each person. So in one fight, I used it the whole time and it only landed once. So it's, it's just luck of the draw on that one. So, I mean, I'm already using that. We haven't unlocked all the moves. So uh, I also don't have any move on the Plague Doctor that impacts stress yet. So I don't know if one is coming, but we don't have one yet. I have not unlocked it. Once you hit a negative relationship, it's like a snowball effect. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Use it better. You should flip the coin better. Wants a few relics to save on bloodshed. Well, two people want us to go and one person wants us to stay. We're in pretty rough shape. I'm gonna go with the majority. I don't think that was the baby. I didn't see you know, any cornucopia hanging off of it. Also, the baby was a two uh, tile enemy. It is low indeed to profit in destruction. Chub nuts, the passes. It's going boom. Has been a while, yeah. No antiquarian with him this time. So that's nice. A little worried here. I might actually should guard him at the start. I kind of don't want to jump in front. Guard him, it's going to screw with Riposte a little bit other than AoE. Oh, well. It's better if you beat it off and it's going puzzle. That's right. Yeah, they were in a really risky battle in the last one. This is a five turn one, too. We can't stall too much on this. It's crazy that Breacher is so good, but on the Plague Doctor, it's causing so many problems. What does this mean? It's kind of like... Um, the buffs or whatever in like the um, the endless farmstead where you have the different like light levels or the different kinds of lights it's kind of like that and this one they have a lot of extra resist Post going. Okay, that's gonna take them to death's door. I think these all have death blow resist. No, this guy does. None of these have death blow resist. Okay. I actually don't want to force this behind them, so I'm just gonna attack. We have the debuff token on us. Look at it. We had good relationship triggers early game, but because of our stress, we've gotten all bad relationships now. So that one's dead. Yeah, some of the early ones are pretty cool, though. In the middle of combat. Bro, you're boring. Oh, he has a combo set up. Mm. 
Steady yourself. There's a death door. We got a healing cell. We need to jump in front so they can use their uh, potion. I need to be careful about this. Uh, Didn't knock him back. Oh, well, he's dead. Ready for the no Lottenham challenge yet? <laughs> Feels like that's what we're doing. Where are the dungeons? We haven't made it to it yet. We're still on the road. Let's go to Aztec. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Resist. Alright, we'll use Bolster the rest of this combat on him. Hopefully we'll actually get some procs. Wow, we removed one. We got blind off. We also got days. No combo, but it's all right. We have two rounds remaining. Uh, let's go ahead and eat one of the corpses then. All the animations. Yeah, me too. See what I mean? <laughs> we didn't get any stress relief on that one. It's just luck of the draw there. Now I'm gonna pay the price for trying that out. Oh, missed because of the blind. Nice. Has five health. I don't think I want to kill it. I would kind of like to see if we get another bolster opportunity. One stress and the user for trying to heal stress didn't backfire at all. I know, that's what I was saying. Like, resist sucks. That sucks. All right. I guess at least that happens here, so we can... Recover from it, I was gonna say, but... <laughs> hey, we, we healed some stress, there we go, finally. Almost killed them to do so, but... We need to kill now. So we're at the last round. Another impediment. Got to kill. It's the last round. Yes, that's what I said. Yours for the taking. So another in target ward. But a lot of those in items we can't even use because of how bad our relationships are. Collector tattoo for Christmas present. Now forever locked down. So I, I thought you ended up getting it. Still hadn't gotten it. I thought you got that a couple years ago. We gotta throw down some items. So we can only have two burn salves on. Seems like they will be handy though. Need enough. Allow you to use the item to improve relationships, otherwise it feels really hard to rescue a bad one. Oh, the exclamation. Uh, that means there's something new to look at on them. So, like, usually it seems like it's a relationship update um, or condition because of something that happened in the battle or the region. Uh, but it just means there's something new to look at in here. It can be a quirk or something like that. You got canceled. Gotcha. Time for some dark study breaks. How's it going, Scorpio? It is finally here. 
We've actually reduced the loathing, which is nice. So enemies aren't quite as crazy. Oh, we got some scouting. Nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far. How's it going, Ogre One? Welcome. In. Rubble and flame. As far as the eye can see. Shrine of Reflection. All right. So we've done every. Uh, we've done one on everyone. So this will unlock another skill. Another skill. Um. I think I'm gonna go Plague Doctor again, actually. Crow Mauler, that's a totally different game. All right, Stria, you're in again for the lore. Chapter two, head of the class. Her professor was a relic. Hacking and Whoa, hey. racing his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. Review notes. Self. Minus one stress. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. More than two trinket slots? I doubt it. They mentioned two trinket shot slots per character even in the PC Gamer article, so I doubt it. Heated rebuttal. Minus three stress. That's all we can do. <laughs> I like, I'm having fun so far. Yeah. Go Major. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. <gasps> Symptoms of a terminal illness. Oh, there is no town management. You can't change the party. It's one run. You choose a party, you go through the whole game with it, and then you can choose the party for your next run. It's more like a traditional roguelike. It's, we are playing out the comic. I mean, they said all this in like, all the articles and everything that they put out over the last year, so I'm not sure why people are surprised by it. If that's not okay, then don't play it if you don't like it. So I said, if I ended up not liking it, I just wouldn't play it. She delighted in the combative debate. There's so many good games for me to play. I don't like it. I won't play it. Reveled in their outrage and confusion. That's since the game is not roguelike. Well, I mean, I mean, you're kind of arguing with the developers on what their vision of their own game is. They even said in the article that this game was more closely related to what they wanted to make that they didn't have the ability or resources or whatnot, and that this was their their vision for Darkest Dungeon. So, I mean, if that doesn't align with something that you like, that's fine. Everyone has their own opinion of what they're going to like and dislike. Um, but it's literally what the developer's vision for the game is, so. You only play games you don't like? That must mean you play lots of, like, League and stuff. She killed him with an objection! You like one, but not this one? Then play one. Have you played League? Well, this is uh, the smallest fight we've had. Some kind of personal attack or something <laughs> with League. <laughs> Recovery fight? I don't know. Yeah. Our light's pretty low. It's 43. As 
slow suffering. Are you played a thousand hours of the first one? Okay, I played two and a half thousand hours of it as well. I mean. Um, I guess we we could bolster or we could jump in front. I think I want to jump in front for now. Yeah, like if people don't like it, then don't don't buy it, don't play it. And yes. It's okay not to like them as much, you know? It's fine. Praise the sun. Um... Who's that? Ish. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Ish. But no, it's not Darkest Dungeon again. It's a new game, yeah. Alright, that one, there's no death low resist on these guys, so we're good. The run is shorter, the amount of time with the same heroes is way longer. Yeah. This is much more like a roguelike delve, yeah. I kind of want to wait. Because this doesn't heal until they're under 50%. This might be our only chance to do it, though. Because I think both of them, yeah, we might as well get rid of the bleed. No, it doesn't matter. It's about to finish. Yeah, there's not really much chance at recovery right now, because the more we fight, the more those are going to proc, yeah? All right, we'll try to get a bolster off. There is comfort in company. I think it's the right person, but... So he's dead, we might as well eat the corpse. All playing content is in early access. Not that I, I, I doubt it, but I don't know. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. 2% crit. First crit unit we've seen. Dirt Engine 2 is a new IP. Dirt Engine 2, or Dirt Engine 2 will have a different sequel. Darkest Dungeon. Darker Dungeon. Spectre's gonna have a meltdown real soon. Yeah. Survival game, something like Zomboid with the Darkest Dungeon characters. One around the world, that would be interesting. Yeah. Field Hospital, all right. Um, we should really probably use some of the relics to get rid of oh man, some of this crap. Oh, we could buy laudanum. We could buy so much laudanum. When stress damage, 33% chance to become dazed. Hmm. You play more Mario Kart? Just wait until you feel the turning on this thing. Just wait. Some own interest first. Turn start ten percent chance at being blinded. That kind of sucks. Claims to be deathly afraid of slime molds. <laughs> she just uh, suddenly. What's that? One stress ten percent chance of one stress at the start of combat. All right, I'm gonna buy like all the friggin' laudanum I can, first off. I was avoiding on purpose. Oh, the things? No, it's really hard to turn the cart. After it goes one way, it has like momentum and it's really hard to turn it back around. The odds of illness are high. Best to be prepared. We can still remove one. 
I might remove Lost in Time. The plus eight speed is kind of nice, though. Of course, it, all the speed goes away if we take any stress damage. One in three chance that it goes away. The destroying a positive token can be pretty brutal, too. <laughs> I feel like getting rid of Breacher. Couldn't do it anyway. I mean, he already has speed trinkets. I think I'm going to get rid of it. What do the flowers do? Uh, which ones? These? Uh, plus fire resistance until next end. So an in-use item. Alright, I want to get rid of this. We need yeah. not be defined Loving the character design? Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying the... Especially the animations. <clears throat> Spatter's going to drink so much laudanum after this. So you unlocked Plague Grenade. <clears throat> Whoops. Take the laudanum. Take it. There we go. <laughs> You're about to get... Serious drugs used on you, Inspector. Move, stay unlocked for the next run. Uh, yes. Yeah, those are... It, it's so far... Uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna take Plague Grenade. <clears throat> this is run two still, yeah. But, yeah, we do have the moves that we unlocked in the first... <clears throat> in the first run. The destination's never in question. Alright, we got a cultist encounter, a watchtower, or a hospital. Uh let's go fight some cultists. Our light's currently at 31. You have a 20% chance. Ugh. No no no, I can't get it. Let's go see the cultists. Well, we flying now. I'm trying to <laughs> see how long the turn takes. All right. Here we go. Let's start first fight against the actual cultists, I think. Been drinking again today. <laughs> Look at those nice little cherubs. Oh my god. They fast. They are fast. Oh uh, well. Inspector. <laughs> company. We got cherub they are called cherubs, what do you know? Cherubs and evangelists. Holy crap, the stress on those guys. They also have dodge stacks. We'll get repose up and hope for the best, I suppose. We need to remove that, so mistimed, misdirected. Oh, Inspector. We roll bottom in. Dra 
We gotta jump in front here, or they're just dead. They're so fast. There's a lot of them. Might should have used it on her. There is comfort in company. So we can we gotta heal him and get that bleed off there, I suppose. Um, I kind of want to blind those two, but that one's probably gonna dodge it anyway. So, come on, Alf, thank you for the bits. Upgrade and also heals dot. Yeah, like in the original, yeah. Oh, good crit. Large. Good crit. Man, those, ba those cherubs are no friggin' joke. Next skill has a 100% crit chance and ignores 20% resistance. These also do have death blow resist. And it has dodge. A miscalculation, perhaps. It's on death door. Kind of like using that name. I'm just saying crit, yeah. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Stealing all of your glory, yep, yeah, by keeping you alive. He almost got stunned there because of that. So. Let's get our opposed stacks back up. They're gonna go next, so I feel like if we can get them to death store here, that would be ideal, but. The token prevented it. We do have the combo potential. We got it. Comboed into stun. Songs and stories about living heroes, only about dead ones. Of course, the grave robber wanted to die. <laughs> So little damage on him. I feel like we're gonna kill that one anyway. It's also dazed, so might want to try to get the dodge off of this, and then we can hit it with both of those if we go before it. All right. I guess at least they. Mind the blind stacks as well. That's the war. Yes, yes. They think they're better than you because they're just standing there. That's correct. Um, so we have blind. So the chances of hitting this are very slim, but if we do hit it, it dies. Man, oh man. I'm standing there menacingly. 
whatever. Yeah, these, those do seem to trigger an awful lot. Conclusion. It's going Karayu and <laughs> Welcome in. It's going all right. God, that cry when you kill it. Play for Shatter, you're going to sleep. The doctor missed and they got mad that someone else finished the job, yeah. Or if they can finish it off, maybe not. I was gonna use a bolster, but I mean, it's only a 50% chance at a minus one, so it's like, they're probably gonna miss this. Yeah, they resisted anyway. Good Lord. Down the Mountain of Madness. We're on our way to it, yep. It gets bigger every time we get to an inn because we're getting, well, we get closer to it every time we get to an inn. The mountain actually grows. There we go. The means of mastery. I don't know. I don't know if we'll get there. Dark Impulse. Oh, okay. So we ended up having another trinket. That's pretty interesting. So Dark Impulse doesn't do anything on its own, but it activates the second trinket slot for those really powerful ones. We also got some laudanum from that, which is really nice. Trinkets, whatever, 2% crit. The loathing of baits. All right. Um, there's the laudanum on there. Heal himself. On we go. Buy all the lawn. <laughs> Soon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you get a cultist trinket, it only activates if you put the dark impulse in the other trinket slot. So it's almost like this trinket, it doesn't do anything until you get that and then it just activates it. And so it, the combination ends up being like a single trinket that takes up both slots in a weird way. You keep trinkets between runs? No. Three options. Um, our torch is pretty low. It's at a 17. We can just say screw him. See ya. Plus 30 torch. We should do that. The Wayne Wright awaits. Buff and him heal two stress, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So this we're gonna have to throw down anyway, but. I mean, a lot of these we can't even use because our people are so upset at each other. Like these ones, we never get a chance to really use it. Speed bags we'll use though. Smoke bomb could be good. Love the cart drifting. <laughs> it's happening. Let's go, Lance. You're welcome in. Yeah, I can't wait to see the mods that it are going to exist in the carts. All right, doesn't matter which way we go. Well, I mean, it kind of does. We want to go down the yellow one, but let us temper this. You know, it makes them upset with each other. It's just real. it seems like it happens more often when you get when they're stressed. Yeah, I don't know. Disagreements like back there will strain it. Just chatter along the road seems to be a lot to do with stress as well. Okay, we're at 33 lights. Oh, that sucks. Minus 15 or minus 10 either way. Oh man, this next fight is going to be rough. 
See on Griffin. Got some Dark Zones too, yeah, all day long. All day long. I will steal anything from anyone. An unexpected find. That sucks. Someone say rough. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna be going towards this here soon. Can you do which gets torchless? I don't know. I don't know. Challenge around interesting. You really want to see if they add any mutations. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, there's definitely room for it because we've already seen things in the top left that are mutators for that individual battle based on, um, well, they can roll it based on your torch light. So we have a meltdown right before we came in here. Is that what I just saw? Yeah, we've, did the, we've done this fight before. Uh, enemies are 40% more res Oh, God. Enemies are 40% more resistant to stun, and Inspector did have a breakdown right before we came in. How close is this game to the original? It's pretty different, yeah. Definitely a new game. Definitely feels like a. The storyline continues, but it feels more like a spin off than a sequel. Kind of like how if you had played Risk of Rain 1 and they went to Risk of Rain 2, they were vastly different. The core, like. The core story of the game and everything and whatnot is pretty similar, but. So we are blinded. There is comfort in company. Yeah, the same blight as bleed resist, so we might as well use the bleed. Maybe. I was gonna say maybe it'll go through. <laughs> An unavoidable end. Oh my God, Breacher is actually saving Inspector. Pretty hardcore right now. Breacher taunts the enemy for the first few hits. Uh, it's probably not gonna last very much longer, but. Man, we need a good hit right here. That was a good hit. That'll do. <laughs> oh, that was clutch, actually. That allows us to get to healing Sal before that guy got to take his turn. Oh, we actually made it through his dodge as well. Good, good coin flips. Good coin flips. You smell worse than a rat. All this stuff coming out now. Ask and you shall receive. I think those are a little bit too... They're either too frequent or they take too much out of the battle. Like, if those kind of happen, but it didn't zoom in on them every single time, it might be a little bit better. But that's one, like, very minor thing moment. It, it really takes you out of, like, the... When they're happening a lot like this, it really takes it out. Uh, you out of the, the battle, headspace of the battle. Uh, they're almost at the front, which is pretty scary. As much as I would really like to blind those two, I think we really got to get through this. More drugs. I need more weekend synergy getaways. So. Calculation, Ooh. perhaps. Point flip, not in our favor. Worse than rot. 
suffering strengthens oh, look. the bond. You slightly, you slightly hate each other less. That's, that's a way to say that. Even if all four heroes in Dark Desert One are afflicted, they don't trigger this much. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's actually good for us. He moved forward. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do blinds. Four characters. Fun, constantly trying new team comps and strategies. Well, you're gonna unlock the other characters too. So they are blinded, which is nice. They have a repost up. We don't wanna use that here. They're eventually gonna die to the blight. We have a repost up. So I guess we'll just shoot. Receivable. All right, they're not gonna eventually die to the blight because that guy keeps healing them. Yeah, I think their relationship system is the main thing that I've noticed that needs needs a little work so far. Uh, pick a start, yeah. You choose your four, you do a run, and then you can go pick another four, but you'd, you'd need to start a new run. I've also seen um, people say that if you have deaths, you can pick up a new character when you get to an inn also. So if you do have a death, you can trade them out at the end. But we only have four characters unlocked, so. But yeah, you pick a team at the start. You gotta finish this guy off. He's got vulnerable. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Trying to reason two. What are your thoughts on the game so far? It's very different, but it's still fun so far. Just a different fun. It's like pausing the game for five seconds randomly. Every yeah, a couple times per per round. <laughs> I think I'm just going to kill this. Because this could end up healing it. We don't want to get to the front. We're going to have to use the heal on the Plague Doctor. This round. Alright, just take that out. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of them bonding like XCOM style, but not like it affects every single round of every combat. It seems a little too much. Arturia, I think we're the 10 months. Thank you, Arturia. Very much appreciated. Okay. Oh, we got through it. Nicely. But effective. Hey, Fulia. All right, we're used to it. Callousness have claimed dominion here. You got XCON to mod cohesion. That system. I never played any XCOM mods. The relationship mechanics more infuriating than relevant. Yep, that's my one gripe so far. An right. unexpected find. Got some more laudum at least. Oh, I didn't hear yours at all. Ivax, thank you for the 46 months. 46 months? Well, that's almost one full year. That is a long friggin' time. Thank you, Ivax. I didn't hear it. It must have happened right when I was, uh, other things are happening in the, in the game, <laughs> but thank you. If I missed anyone else, it's not intentional. I might as well throw something on her. Alright, good enough. 
Hooray. Can have the same limited space looting system? Yes, but you can also upgrade the stagecoach to hold more stuff. Yep. Right. Uh, no battle item is equipped. It can mean different things, yeah. We also noticed that it meant... Uh... Oh my god. You can get ambushed randomly on the road at zero lights. This is a tough battle, too. We fought one of these before, and it was very tough. We were literally, like one wagon wheel roll away from the friggin' end. They're so dodge heavy, it's crazy. The light went out, yep, and we got attacked, yep. Your enemy designer are awesome though. I agree. Oh, how the turntables with all the dodge. Should have put bandages on there. I mean, there's no way to know this is going to happen. Now we know. Uh, dat name. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, dat name. Hope runs out. You'll get a tag cultist if you win. Right back. Interesting. So well on that one. Friendship stuff would only happen during downtime, not during battle themselves. It happens all the friggin' time. All the time. I'm just gonna try to go kill something as fast as we can. Nice crit. They're on Death's door with a bleed. Oh my god. I think we got all that laudum. The pulse slows. Sanity returns. The badge turned yellow. Has been tended to. Can you reach the end with this party? No, you unlock future runs. You've already reached the end of the path once. You care about doing it again? I don't know. If you just like playing the game. I mean, I've beaten Darkest Dungeon with the same groups many, many times. Like, I almost take the same team to the four final Darkest Dungeons almost every time. So, yeah. They are going to crit, guarantee another you know next hit, which can be be really brutal let's get rid of that dodge oh we actually got through nice prefer the pink one though do the enemies have death door now some of them do yeah not all of them but some of them like these back here the cherubs do not but this one has a little bit uh, it does have a death tour I maybe should have comboed into that. Oh, it's not a combo, never mind. That's blind. A miscalculation, perhaps. So we are weakened. How much does this do weakened? Four to seven versus four to five. And actually, this has a higher crit chance too, so screw it. Although we probably want to knock ourselves back so we can hit these on the next round. And it opens up the combo too. It runs shorter than the first? Yes, this game is five to eight hours per run. Uh, 
the time has come for a comfort in company. Thanks, Wayne. Uh, Observer, Shrine of 2 is worth celebrating. <laughs> Thank you for the 999 bits. Thank you, Observer. I appreciate it. Much love to Observer. Thank you. Death's door should die. I think that removes the last five, so. Does it have much replayability? It's a roguelike game, so it's more like Slay the Spire and things like that, where you play through to unlock things for subsequent runs, unlock more skills, more trinkets, more classes, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it has multiple chapters as well. I think there's five chapters or something altogether. Plus, there's the story parts to get to with each of them. I think each of them had like five story parts, each character. Um, I think I might eat that corpse on her. That allows our Hyoman to be able to hit this one. But it also gets rid of the stress, and she's almost at her breaking point. She doesn't need the heal, though, so I don't know if I should have saved it. All the points she spent giveaways, can you give them back? Uh, no. I can't. I literally can't. I'd like to test something real quick. <laughs> no, Twitch doesn't allow me to give or take away points in that regard. Even if I wanted to. Man... It's unreal how good Sanguine is. Sanguine is so good. Look at Chub Nuts. He's never had a worry in the world. He doesn't care about anything. Wow, we actually made it through that. That was a 25% chance. I think it last starts win, but it's way more visually appealing. It's not even a rare. Yeah, it looks amazing. What does Sanguine do? It heals one stress uh, at the beginning of every single round. Every round, not just every battle. So it'd be the equivalent in the first game of healing 10 stress every single round for free. You got for all that stress and breakdowns you had during RimWorld. I think you're right. <laughs> Chub nuts, more like Chad nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's not even a rare quirk. It's an amazing quirk, especially for it not being rare. Might as well eat a corpse on her again. Get out of there. Get out of there. Might get nerfed, yeah. boring in the middle of the fight. Man. Relax, I'm only kidding around. Ooh, nice crit. Get some stress healing there. Ever eaten rat? Didn't think so. <laughs> okay. Mass dungeons of varying difficulty. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we haven't made it. It's still the first chapter, so. Another dark impulse. I really don't care about. What's she doing those corpses? Hashtag envious. Look how close we were to the stupid inn when that happened. One league from the inn. A little bit more than a wagon wheel roll, yeah. We made it! In number three. Probably nerfed the percent chance of it triggering, yeah. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. 
You don't really need a healer this game. Uh, I don't know. We've had some... I mean, we lost our first run, and we lost it to damage, not to stress, so... Got some new quirks. Let's check those out. Learn what can be taught. Got three new mastery points that also. You stand just a little taller at the end. Close enough that we probably could have ran for it, yeah. Uh, what's the upgrade to play grenade do? Increases damage. We're thinking that yet. Bellow's kind of interesting. The upgrade to Bellow could be useful in some situations. We can remove Repose from the enemy without getting hit by Repose. We could remove the buff that allows them to get 100% crit chance on their next round, and it also slows them. OST is really good, yeah. Strange not seeing the Jester yet. <laughs> You barely use the I use the gesture almost every run of our challenge runs. All right, I think I'm going to take Velo and point blank shot. Take a play grenade, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not I don't think I could have done Torchless, Deathless, Blood Moon, All Boss, etc. without the gesture, yeah. Huh. Most of the moves that we use a lot, we have already upgraded. I actually do use incision quite a bit. Yeah, let's take that. It's just more damage, but more damage, more dots. More stuff. Alright, let's see if we can actually use some of these in items. So, chance to spawn dodge token each turn until the next in. Put that on Inspector. And on Sandy. Restore some percent HP, but minus some percent disease resistance. So, we're unable to use this? Oh, that one we were able to. Okay. Increase max HP until the next in. Can't use that because of a relationship. Uh, where are we embarking to, actually? The mountain! And what you can. Game comes out tomorrow. It does. No longer yeah. has meaning. Cares with five fingers. Or just one. Only the ancestor. I know. We talked about that too. We actually were wondering if that was a. Um, if that meant anything. Uh, I should use that on someone else. So I, I don't know what to expect in here. So I'm just gonna throw this on some people. And... That's the best. Streamer pri pri uh, privilege. Welcome yeah. back. I only had to stream Dark's Dungeon one two and a half thousand hours. Appreciated. Have it be my job for like three years. Each Who is that? Improvement. Uh, Saints. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, Saints. The equation of your fate. Lore wise, this is a sequel. Yes. Any advantage is a good thing. been something special about the fingers kind of sad seeing all the five fingers yeah guess it was just an artistic thing 
One learns quickly. All right. Survival demands it. We got 98 bobbles. Uh, we got another sneaker standard we could get. Hmm. I did say it's undeserved, but a privilege nonetheless. I don't know what to expect in the mountains, so it's like, uh, let's see. Plus four speed, two percent damage. Plus two speed, max health. I wonder if you can double up trinkets, unlike in the first game. We haven't tested that either. Also, the draw, it's not that big of a deal. So buying one of these should be all right. 75% chance at combat start to get uh, reduced damage. Plus four speed. You get combos out faster that way as well. Spend all the bobbles. I'm gonna grab the speed. Such power in such a little thing. I don't know if we'll get a chance to spin again, but. All right, buy as much laudanum as we can. Listen, practice. Improve. Okay. Flying so far, Mitt. Pass the laudanum, please. Uh. All right. Select the route to the mountain. Yeah, it looks like all positive that time. Oh, I need to equip Bellow. Alright. We can equip it outside, but... Weirdest part is using, actually having to use a lot of him. The mountain. At last, the great ziggurat. Temple of failure and regret. Emptiness of the void. Shout out to the horses, the real MVPs of the run. What are you? <laughs> we already know the cherubs are a real friggin' problem. Cardinal. Cosmic. It's like a giant nope to you. Ah, uh, crap. I didn't put the laudanum on them. They actually free, flee from this battle. I, not that I noticed. Man, I forgot to equip the extra laudanum. I wonder if we should just go for the kill on this one. Just 33 death low resist too. Either way, you need to get repose up. What is that? Worship. Exalting unspeakable cosmic forces. Well, that explains a lot. Thank you. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't equip the laudanum. Unspeakable, how are you exalting them? Oh, the breakdown's coming. This bad. Only 10 blight resistance. Whoa! Bleed, blight, and burn, and stress, and damage. Let's just have it do all the things in one attack. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty has 
Oh, I cannot believe I didn't equip the Laudanum, guys. That sucks. Wouldn't be in this situation. On! Thank you for the 17 months. How goes Dark Desert 2? I'm having fun so far, yeah. Oh, such a good crit there. Way to go, Inspector. Strengthens the bond. There's a death's door. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. It's on death's door. It's kind of blight. Hopefully it dies. Nice. Animations are good. Yeah. Well, that kind of sucks. I guess we might as well take aim. Because we can destroy the corpse with her to get stressed down. Now he gets a guaranteed crit. And once the corpse is gone, we could point blank shot. Oh, the token is used on the repost right there for the crit. All right, that works. Silence that cardinal, yeah. I think I should just try to kill that one. They have no death low resistance, so. Uh, yeah, the killing them doesn't remove the corpse. Corpse interaction is really big in this game. There are a lot of enemies that interact with the corpse in different ways than they did in the first game. There's a lot of moves, or a couple moves that interact with corpses quite a bit on our side. Uh, killing things through uh, damage over time or even a crit doesn't get rid of the corpse anymore. Excellent work. Mass Prince. <laughs> nice crits. I guess we can lower its speed for next rounds. Hopefully we kill it before it gets to go. Oh, it resisted. Feels bad. Feels bad. All right, it's got the combo triggered. Check if fire removes the corpse. Uh, I have not killed anything with fire yet. No, we used an item that gave fire, but we haven't like actually killed any fire as far as I remember. Do we take the coin flip to try to heal some stress? I guess we do. There is comfort in company. Yeah, we actually healed too. That's as much as we can hope for. A righteous action. Oh, now it's just, now it's just coming. Come on. The loathing whispers. Enemy died and leave a corpse earlier. Yeah, I don't remember that, but maybe. Any boss battles? Yes. We actually lost our first run to a mini boss. Crap. Okay. I was like, I forgot the laudanum. What was it, boss? I don't know if anyone has a clip of the baby, but it killed us, yeah. Can I split stacks? That's what I was trying to do, but it doesn't say. Right clicking doesn't seem to. Shift clicking throws it away, so. Like cultists. Yeah, you should see the baby. It was this nasty baby, like Resident Evil baby that was like coming out of a cornucopia that was kind of attached to its body a little bit. It's really crazy.
Maybe we'll keep you asking questions. What do you think so far? I like it so far. It's definitely a different game. Uh, this fight again. Definitely a different game than the first one. But so far, it's fun. Wait, wait, wait. That's a different enemy. That's the deacon, yeah. <laughs> I saw the cherubs and I was like, oh, it's the same group. Deacon did not have an axe. There is comfort in company. I answer the question at least 200 times. Yeah, but it's all right. He has no blight resist, yeah. Looks like the stress guys and the necromancer versus one had a baby. I can see that. when he's asking some questions. We got that minus five speed on him. That's nice for next round. He's already pretty slow anyway. Melee attacks. Minus 15% damage taken from melee attacks. Good thing we were blinding him, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of stress. It's permanent? Yeah, I don't know. Two turns. This one looks permanent. Might have a break down here. I don't want to get behind them. They're immobilized anyway. Will that cannot move or be moved? So will that leave him in position one point blank shot? If so, that's actually pretty good. Only it does it only does four to five damage. Five to seven, yeah. The buff the debuff on him. 19%, four to five. 24%, 5 to 7, so it doesn't matter anyway. Range attacks now, minus 50%. I wonder if it just changes every round now or what? It's interesting. A breakthrough. Preferred mode of transportation, Mr. Deacon? Hentai. <laughs> yeah, it's still on range attacks. He has some death low resist also. The background's pretty awesome, yeah. I need to get in front there in case we need to heal. You also guard for her, but... Oh, right. Whoops. He had the trap on him. Hey, right, be careful of those tokens. Take some laudanum. Chill out. Stacking that blight like we did with the professor. The professor deserved it. Man, she is going to have some serious breakdowns. Our laudanum is on our hyobin, so we can't use that until next round. Well, crap. We're probably going to consume the corpse on her to heal. So I don't want to accidentally destroy it or something. It's going to be fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's kind of good that happened there instead of the round after because we have that corpse up. Now she's stealth with the heal. She got some stress reduction there.
Mistimed, misdirected. You got seventy five percent dodge. Come on, Wayne. Chill out. He's almost his head now, too. There are no virtues or afflictions anymore. It's all buddy system based, those screens. The resolve type things are friendships and enemies. Okay, that one's dead. Voiceovers? Yeah, luckily. Is that a clip of the baby by chance or something else, Super Glue? Either way, thanks. That's the boss baby? Thank you. Yeah, if anyone wasn't here to see the boss baby, there it is. Thank you, Super Glue. That's all. Come on. I'll to make a meme. <laughs> Whatever. For class of the game, if not when you get people, they're not just these four. You have to unlock the others and you pick them at the start of your run. These are the only four you start with unlocked. You have to unlock the rest. The loathing besters. No more laudanum, guys. You included my greedy decision making. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, no rewards, so. For anyone wondering, yeah, that always shows some kind of thing that's changed. Conditions, combat, missing skill, that sort of thing. Behold, the source of the stain. Gateway to incomprehensible emptiness. We've made it to the dungeon. It's only taken us like four hours, but we've made it. It's the brain of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've already defeated the heart. Now it's time for the brain. Right now it's dead. But yeah, I hope they all get added soon. I was not expecting the brain of darkness. Chained by its own command. Oh man, we are in some real trouble. Cannot use healing skills. Cannot use healing skills or items. Shackle of despair, lamentation, wasting, and regret. They all have 75 health. Which one has, uh, they're all really, they're weak against, um, blight, it looks like. Lethality writ large. How many more body parts? Darkest Dungeon 3. Get ready to fight the Spleen of Darkness. Denial is what we chose to start. Oh no, that one stuns. The anus of darkness. This is gonna be really rough. Go ahead, Tony. The animations are really good, yeah. Crap. Cannot use melee skills. Oh. Oh, 
Oh man. I don't the only heal I have is the plague doctor. They were stunned last turn. Oh, it actually hit him. Nice. Shubnut just says no to stress. That's right. He resisted the stun at least. Nice. Cannot use stress heal skills or items. Yeah, that one's done. If you say no, then I mean, legally cannot stress you. <laughs> chain down. Probably should use play grenade last time. Dark, did you get even darker? <laughs> A little bit. I was going Death Strike. Party wipe incoming? Uh, very possibly. Can I use range skills or items? Same if they already hate each other. One time they say the other smells like a rat, and the next time it's well done, my friend. We can only use this a couple more times. Passing turns still causes stress, yeah. Grave Robber can't heal herself, right? Didn't we trade out for the Grave move? I didn't know what to expect in here, so her heal is the Grave. Uh, I don't think she has Absinthe equipped. I'll double check, but... Health locked. Cannot use healing skills or items. Good crit. Try no Grave. Oof, yep. Do we leave? Do we leave bodies? Oh, no. <laughs> well, healing is locked this round, too. Yeah, it's a good time for that. Restless souls thrive in chaos they create. The only one in the heal. Yeah, she, she does not have uh, absinthe. No. I didn't know this is what was going to be in here, you know. Combo will still be there. The delay in the health bar is changing. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. Kind of a weird thing. <laughs> Skills blocked. We can try blinding that one. That's our only out right now. It resisted. Let us hope they find peace. Hey, she might can eat uh, Inspector. 
Spectre might serve us still in death. What did you say? <laughs> Stay there, all right? We'll eat you later. I think the 80% crit chance. Excellent choice. You can eat horses? She can, yeah. <laughs> the plate. Or, uh, excuse me, the uh, grave robber can. Ah, it's done. It sucks. Got this, I'm not so sure. Slow <laughs> dissection. An unavoidable end. I should have hit it with this other move. It was it wasn't a combo, so friggin' stun. Yeah, this is probably only part one of the battle too. Oh, it actually targeted the corpse. Nice. Oh no, now we can't eat it. <laughs> should have eaten it when we had the chance. Now we get to see what a meltdown does on death's door. Does it just kill them? It gives them a negative quirk. Minus 10% death low resistance. You believe? <laughs> She's out of heals too. She only has three. Yeah, all right, I get it. Perfect. All the heroes hate each other, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting. I thought it would kill them when they were like that, yeah. Resisted feels bad. Thought Chub Nuts is vibing. Oh, another resist. You survived it? Another meltdown while on death's door? All right, I'll take it. Look at all those quirks we're getting. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. Like doctors won't die. Routes here, good go. Else. Second one is so crazy good. Holy crap. Grassy straw is trying to die. Chub nuts. Are you even trying? Have you ever eaten a rat? Like what? Oh, you don't say. Resentment. The slowest and deadliest poison of them all. Can we call him quirky? 
think we might already be allowed to do this. Sanguine's like hard carrying the run. Yeah, absolutely. Steady yourself. And now You're stressed out? Oh my god, I hate you so much. Test of all. All right, phase two. Each milestone makes the next road just a little. GG, we did it. Are you sure? There's five chapters. We're going to be coming there back. There is yeah. so much worse in store. Uh, so why do we free it? <laughs> like, what have we done? Each attempt. Oh, look! We unlocked three classes, including the new one. Victory will come. Thanks, Inspector, for your sacrifice. Look how much hope we restored in a single run. Uh, we have unlocked the Hellion, the Jester, and the Runaway. We've unlocked some more items. Uh, lots of trinkets that we'll see along the way. Um, I'm not going to go through all these. We'll look at them as we see them in runs, but uh, that's a lot of stuff we just unlocked. Holy crap. Wow. I think we did a good job going through and getting as much hope as we possibly could. I still can't believe Sanguine carried that completely. Without Sanguine, I think we lose. But the new one, The Runaway. So uh, I, I'm going to stop the recording. I am going to go let my wife know that we're going to do another run. And we're going to do a new run with uh, these three. I don't know if they... I, I have no idea if they're going to go well together or anything, but... All right. Let me, uh, let me stop the recording here. We unlocked so much in that one run. That's insane. But Dismas died. Oh, uh, let's see if there's anything on this part really quick. Jockey's Dungeon 2, ladies a nebulous night. nightmare. An apocalypse that only we can oppose. Your sanctum, adrift in this bituminous nightmare. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Welcome to early access. <laughs> All right, let me uh, stop the recording and then we'll uh, we'll look through the new stuff. Try out the new characters, all that good stuff. Uh, EA lock, yeah, I think so. Die, master.